That wasn't me, that was James. <laughs> uh, Matt's uh, having a bit of a laugh before we start, I think. It might not have actually gone through. It might have been muted. I don't know which channel that goes through, but anyway. Good morning, everyone. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, welcome. Welcome to uh, Sunday afternoon vibe. Yeah, I was about to at say the, um, uh, the weather is much better than expected here at Brisbane Airport. We're expecting a wet afternoon, but uh, looks to have somewhat cleared up. I mean, it's very overcast still, but uh, yeah, no showers around, I don't think. So looking like might be quite a nice afternoon. I was expecting a wet day at work. It was actually pretty good. It's quite pleasant. shot. What's that? Oh, wow. Ready for the flame out? Awesome. I was going to try and catch up and chat, but uh, lately... The chat's been moving so fast pre-stream no, it, that it, it, it deletes half of it before we stream. Not that Matt's complaining. Not that Matt's complaining. About what? The, 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 Matt, the chat moving so oh, fast. Oh, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> I'm just saying it, it deletes it. So we can't, we can't see it all. So yes. Apologies if we miss anyone. But uh, yeah, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, back in Brizzy for a little Sunday afternoon spot sesh. The uh, traditional uh, Sunday afternoon slot. We, <laughs> we, we like this one, don't we? Well, I, I don't do. mind it. Yeah, I mean, I was a, I'd literally just finished work, got home, had a shower, and got out here basically. So uh, that's why we're a little bit late. But uh, you know, we're, it's a bit on brand. <laughs> I think we're always late. Uh, so apologies, but uh, yeah, welcome everyone once again. Uh, Loose, uh, Carolyn, uh, Lee's here. G'day, Lee. Jackie Hughes, uh, PJ's here. G'day, mate. Tezza, uh, Seki, uh, Hayden, and Melbourne flights is here. G'day, mate. Uh, Kev's here. G'day, Kev. Um, Hello, mate. Oh, what a cracking stream yesterday over in Wellington. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was one of the few streams I was able to, to make the, with my work schedule. The C17, absolutely brilliant stuff, mate. Um, uh, Patrick M's here. G'day, mate. Uh, Brian Svensson. Uh, the gang is all here, he says. <laughs> it is now. Uh, where am I?
Saki? Saki here? Oh, hello, yeah, Saki. Hey, Saki. I think everyone's talking about Discord last night. Oh, yeah, there was uh, quite a conversation going on, wasn't there? <laughs> it kept me up late. I missed out a little bit. It kept me up late, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, Apex Turtles here. I saw you've just joined the Discord as well, mate, so welcome uh, to the chat. Welcome to the Discord. Hello, mates. Uh, Rollercoaster Harry's here as well. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Carl and Davies. Uh, good afternoon from Christchurch. Uh, Yin Cafe Spot is here as well. G'day. Um, Hello, Yin. Yeah, and of course, uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Time has finished now. So our yeah. Sydney, Sydney and Melbourne friends are back on... Uh, Everyone's on the same time zone. Back on the same time zone, which is... Uh, which is fantastic. It uh, makes our life a lot easier with, uh, yeah. well, not even just with streaming, but uh, the day to day activities. Uh, cows here. G'day, mate. Uh, Logan Walker Real Estate. G'day. First time joining and watching the stream. Well, welcome, mate. Uh, Casey and Tolson as well. Uh, Ahmed Safan. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Uh, Anno. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, Gary M. Seki, 8K subs target today. What are we at? 7909. Surely 8K is on the cards today. Nine, 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 nine. Surely. Uh, Beck Jonas here. G'day, Beck. Uh, watching this from Phil's footy match in Dalby. Dalby um, or Dolby? Dolby. I guess it is Dolby. <laughs> Mate, you're the Aussie here. <laughs> I've actually been to Dolby a few times, so you think I'd know. Anyway, uh, Janet Simmons is here. G'day, Janet. Yeah, uh, Lee saying the same, 8K Sunday. Well, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, NZ Aviation, you know. We won't leave until we hit 8K. You reckon? Don't know. <laughs> Come on, mate. Uh, Lucky Charm fan, g'day. Lakel. We've got a Fokker rolling on uh, zero 01 right. We're on zero 01 operations here this afternoon. Uh, I would imagine it's going to stay that way because the wind direction doesn't look to be... Uh, changing any time anytime soon on the forecast. Uh, Chris at LAX is here, g'day mate. Henry. Christian Kemp's here, g'day mate. Oh, hello mate. Uh, Jason Hop Hopkins, afternoon. Uh, Bird as well, g'day Bert. Doug Houston. Uh, Josh is here, g'day Joshy. Gaz Leonard, couple Gazes here, welcome. Uh, Wendy Cutler, I think I might have already said hello, but you get two. <laughs> Terry, is it just me or are they trying to read through everything? Matt likes to read as much as he can uh, at the start to, of a stream. Um, I don't like to leave people out, but it, unfortunately, uh, YouTube doesn't play ball with us anymore. It, it just deletes a lot of the, a lot of the chat. But um, That's all right. Everyone will just have to keep chatting. That's okay. Uh, oh, hold the phone. We've got uh, Hayden jumping in there. <laughs> with that, with the super chat to start us off. I'm Maddie and James. I think you guys need a sign saying, Maddie, do not talk when air. Yeah, whoops. Um, <laughs> We're look, making an emoji. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maddie, <laughs> shut up. Did I do it again? <laughs> uh, probably. Probably. Uh, um, and yeah, Henry there just reminded me that the Formula One's on this afternoon <laughs> in about an hour's time. And I, I, I've right? sacrificed it to be here today. Um, however, however, I will be watching it on the laptop. Um, when it starts, I think I'll have a little picture in picture here, and uh, maybe we'll do a bit of uh, a live commentary uh, while, oh, yeah, go while, while we're going. Can you bring audio in? We, 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 no, allowed? we can't bring it into the stream, no. But oh, okay. um, we, we, maybe yeah, we'll uh, we'll do a bit of a watch along. Go on. <laughs> uh, boys is here. Oi oi. Uh, welcome. Hello, mates. Oi oi. Is that the one from Norwich? Is it Norwich? He said it almost right there. I think Norwich. Yeah, that was pretty very very close. Very close. Uh, yeah, welcome, mate. Uh, good on you, Hayden, though. Thank you for the vibe, mate. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Professor's here. Good afternoon. Oh, the chat's done, though. It's done me dirty again. Uh, we were just talking about the uh, KC30. I did a bit of investigating oh, last night, and uh, this one sat outside is the one that has been here for about six to seven weeks, the PM's jet, uh, A39007. Uh, the VIP transporter uh, hasn't left, hasn't left since the 22nd or 21st of February when it arrived. Uh, it was inside the hangar for a little while. Uh, B-Rad of 1,000 flight levels here, g'day mate. 
please ensure your tray tables are retracted as we are about to commence the, the drink service, absolutely. Uh, it's a Sunday, so uh, it's afternoon as well, so go for gold. <laughs> Kev saying uh, Melbourne Flights, how about an automatic mute button? <laughs> Bradders, hello, mate. Uh, Plain Pete's uh, saying uh, the summary of the OPN bot did in the, uh, the Discord last night was gold. <laughs> we might have to summarise this chat as well. How good was that? How good was that? OPN bot uh, actually turning up for work. It's been pretty reliable lately. Yeah, actually. is he here? Is he here today? Have oh, we, I, have I we got know. that far through? I don't know. We'll find out shortly. Uh, Rollercoaster Harry, do I still have a membership? Yeah, mate. Looks like you're, you're still green. You're, you're still, still on OPM. board, mate. You're still on board. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Carolyn, I can't forget uh, everyone down in Tasmania on uh, Eastern Daylight Time, uh, now back to Standard Time. How could I forget? Uh, Ricky Hammond's here. G'day, mate. <laughs> You're saying, Ricky, you saying, hey, Dan's wife is in the kitchen baking, so call in on the way home. Oh, absolutely. Bit of a barbecue. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, I forgot to have lunch. Oh, I haven't eaten today either, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing one of those fasts where you don't eat till that. Uh, you only eat one meal a day. Mm. Uh, Matt Griffiths here. Hello from the Gold Coast. Love the aircraft. Oh, good on you, Matt. Thank you, mates. Welcome. Might, uh, go down for a toasty soon. Then. Carwin Davis, uh, the Qatar Triple uh, from Doha. Estimated time of arrival, 4.51 p.m. Uh, we'll keep an eye out. We're looking forward to the Qatari Triple, as we always do. Christian saying while well, getting uh, getting formal and using my full name. Hey, mate, it's your, uh, your VIP. I got it. I got it. Uh, didn't see it work today, by the way, mate. Uh, oh, the chat's done it to me again, hasn't it? I tell you what, the weather is, um, has actually turned it up today. It's, it's not bad at all. It's uh, sunny right now. Uh, quite beautiful. Considering the forecast. Alan C is here. Uh, Dino, g'day Dino. Brian Svensson saying mic chat. Mate, I think it's just you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's just you. I hope so. I, I did double check. It looks like we're good. But Cow, uh, any, yeah. any ships in today? No, no cruise ships. No cruise ships today. Patrick James with his uh, lead defeat auto uh, racing commentary, <laughs> doing remote to remote F1 deserves more likes. Love it. Uh, Craig Murray's here. G'day, mates. Present and reporting for duty. I like it. Why do you always bring the sun to the airport when it's cloudy? Mate, it was raining on the way here, so what's going on? OPM bot is here. Oh, good, yeah. on, good on you, mate. Uh, Crystal White's here. G'day, Crystal. Uh, Shaz is here. G'day, Shazza. The uh, the old Jetstar 320 actually looking pretty awesome in the sun right now. Look at that. And uh, hang on, Tezza. Tezza jumping in there. Oh, Terry. Dropping in 10 gifted memberships uh, already. Look at that. Thank you, mate. Uh, that's gone straight to uh, Six Knots, Gareth, uh, Justin, Paul, uh, Arnie, uh, Menolito, Joe, uh, Kevin Nutt, uh, Galliar, and Aviation Dude 737. Uh, Thank you so yeah. much, Terry. That is very kind, mate, all, to um, all jump in that. the Lurkers Lounge, courtesy of, of Tezza there. Uh, always looking after us, so we appreciate it, mate. Uh, on show, actually, occasionally, aren't you, mate, when you can, when you can get out here? He's, uh, he's got a bit of a trek to, to get up here, so... Um, oh, what's going on out there? Is it smoke? Oh, was it dust? I think it's just dust, mate. Oh, OK. Bravo there. That might be why Omni went up Alpha. Well, no, they've actually returned to the uh, terminal, back to the um, international terminal. No, they, they arrived. Oh, really? Yeah, that was an arrival. That's oh. what I was saying, yeah, but they, they 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought they were on the way out. No, okay. no, no. They right. arrived, but they, they went up alpha then. Right. I was just curious okay. as to why. So yeah, the Omni so. the Omni 767's in today. Uh, we keep saying it's probably going to be the last time we see it, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Reverse psychology. Uh, yes, yeah, so looks like some uh, taxiway repairs going on down there. Uh, Henry saying, so if I lose my gifted membership, will I lose Discord privileges? I believe it's automated. Uh, it was the way we, we've set it up. So I'm going to say yes. There's probably a grace period, but um, uh, you're always here, Henry. I'm sure you'll pick up another one. Don't stress. Um, Jackie, I had McDonald's for lunch. That's uh, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I've had the... Uh, I've been back in the Maccas a bit too much recently. Uh, Doug Houston's here. Hello, mates. Um, am I caught up? Oh, I don't do it again. What am I looking for here? I think, I think I've just flown past it. There it is, the Virgin Cemetery. Taxiing out to zero one right for departure. Uh, Paulo's here, good day, mate. Victor Echo Mike, Brisbane Tower, assigned heading up right, one, two, zero. Runway zero one right, clear for MC, off. hello, mates. Welcome. Beck saying it's four, se four seasons in here, one minute. It's raining and cold the next, hot and sunny. Mate, that's, uh, uh, is a bit. That, that is Brisbane for you, Beck. Mm. <laughs> No, if you're staying out at Dalby, you're gonna. It gets very cold out here. I find at night time. Link Airway Saab lining up on uh, zero one right. Uh, John Vogel's here. G'day, mates. Oh, hello, John. Looks like you got some rain down there in uh, Melbourne for once. Peter Jones as well. All right, the Saab uh, rolling. Link Airway is heading to Orange. Yeah. Uh, Carlin saying, uh, adding James Wellington flights live will film my plane land next Sunday in Wellington uh, as I arrive there from Christchurch around 4.55 uh, p.m. or 2.55 p.m. your time. Uh, so you can see my arrival on stream. Awesome stuff. I'm sure we'll be tuned in, Carlin. No worries. Definitely. As long as it's not uh, a stupid time in the morning. <laughs> no, no, it's at 2.55. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. there we go. Uh, uh, Beth's here. G'day, Beth. Here we go. I was just about to say that. Hello, yeah. Beth. Beat you, mate. Uh, Rehan Fernando. Oh, look at this beautiful jet. Three thirty-two, runway zero one right. Clear for takeoff. Is that your global? Is uh, it? it's a, a beautiful global. Look at it. Sixty-five hundred. Uh, it's shiny, actually. Bit of purple. That's a bit of you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's not It's not quite a global 7500, but um, look, uh, I think it would do. I think it would do. Doesn't, isn't Lewis Hamilton's colour purple, too? Uh, I assume so, yeah. Well, you've got a purple cap on the down thing, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's you, mate. That's all over. That's, that's you. 100%. Beautiful aircraft. I don't know if we've seen that one before. I don't recall. Uh, American Reg. And uh, we can't miss this 737-700 uh, heading out in the background. Virgin Australia. Or a catch. Uh, where is it going, Matt? That's a good question. Uh, Mel. Melbourne. From zero one right. Uh, Anthony Wright. G'day, mate. Saying uh, most cruises headed north for the winter. Yeah, that'll be it. Um, it's weird to see no cruise ship over there. It's been like that the last couple of days when we've been here for streaming. Uh, Annette Butler's here. G'day. Uh, Mortimer Julius as well. Good. Uh, you know, trip me up there. Good morning, Manny and James. <laughs> good, good afternoon from us. Uh, Nathan, hello, mates. Oh, where's this? Um, do we know where this uh, global's going? What a stunner. I've got nothing on uh, on flight radar. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, Brad saying uh, just needs the um, <laughs> the OPN rego attached to it. Victor Hotel uh, Oscar Papa November. <laughs> How good would that be? Casey Tolson is Hawaii taking off today. No, no uh, it departed last night. It did depart last night. And uh, yeah, what a beautiful aircraft. Matt got some fantastic shots of it uh, up close. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, look, they're only iPhone shots, but still. Yeah, yeah, trust uh, your iPhone. Yeah, I mean. It's not even anything fancy. The, the, be old. the best camera is the one that's in your pocket, right? <laughs> uh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Did you just think of that? Well, no, I've seen that before. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that, Sam. It the was uh, no one, no one around it. It was I had a bit of a, a, a quiet spell during the day, so I just went and chilled, uh, chilled behind the uh, HAL for a little bit. It was um, yeah, it's funny how it just sits there. Kind of miss it. Alliance and Brayer heading off there, uh, operating Qantas, uh, 1965 to Newcastle. Uh, Nathan saying, were you guys there on Friday around 6 p.m.? We well, certainly were, Nathan. Yeah. I believe it was. Uh, was it? Was it? Six? We were there past 6 p.m., weren't we? Yeah, it probably would have been by then. Yeah. yeah. I actually can't remember when we ended the stream. It would have been around. Then. Maybe it was around then. Yeah. Mm. So is that that global is either going full length on zero one right or it's heading up to the apron at the other side of the field. Uh, it's come from GA. Yeah. So maybe it's going to the VIP area, I don't know. Amp Salini's here, g'day mates. If it is going full length, it's going to be hard to capture. Yeah, it's, it, it'll be gone ski. It'll be, uh, yeah. It'll be up in the air super fast. Uh, PJ likes the photos, appreciate it, mate. Yeah, it's not it's not a great camera, but I guess if you're... Um, is that Rescue 533 ping? November when you can get nice and close to it, um, it certainly helps. No, so the uh, Global is departing. It's going full length. That's going to be fun. <laughs> well, I'll do my best to pan this one, but um, no promises. <laughs> Probably lose it to the roof. Yeah. Uh, Shazza, gee, it's 28 uh, degrees there in Brazil. It's 17 here in Adelaide Hills. Uh, it's actually a really warm day. It's supposed to November cool Mike, down no, quite a bit right. uh, later this week or this week coming. Here in Brizzy. Bris Vegas, as some uh, like to call it. <laughs> Bris Vegas. What a beautiful jet. Uh, Henry, Maddie, what do you do for work? Uh, I, I work at uh, work at the airport. Uh, ground handler. I guess you'd call it. It's called many things, I suppose. Ground services. Uh, Nathan, did you happen to see the Qantas flight land from Darwin around six-ish? My parents were on that flight. We could very well have. I might even know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's... We probably ended just before. Though. I reckon we did, yeah. Because we started about 11.30 from memory yeah. in the morning. And uh, we went for about six, just over six hours. Uh, we would have been here for it, no doubt, with uh, with our pack up and everything. We're usually here for the sort of half hour after our yeah. streams. But um, here we go. Let's see what I can do here. Because this is going to be up and away. Yeah, good luck. Oh no. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, a pretty modest departure. Yeah. He didn't go too crazy. No. In no rush. No, definitely not in a rush. Probably knows we're watching. Uh. Yeah, uh, rescue 533 is yeah, I can see, uh, it's taxiing, actually. I can see it taxiing, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, we'll we'll catch that departing very shortly. 
Probably uh, next. Jordan Clements is here. G'day, mates. From Cleveland, Ohio. Hello, Jordan. Welcome, mate. Saying uh, we had to close our airport for an hour to, for a small plane and crash this evening. 533 Brisbane Tower. There's a short delay for a week to let's see All right, we'll have to check that out, on. mate. But uh, welcome. Uh, Skyline's here. G'day. Uh, so rescue 533, small delay to wake turbulence from this uh, global that's just departed. Uh, <laughs> and then it will be then it'll be heading off. B-Rad saying uh, she might be heavy. Uh, yeah, full of, well. Uh, what, full of champagne, probably. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, what else is going to be on board? Oh. Um, I was thinking the same thing. It's going to be uh, potentially, what, heading back to the States, if that's where it's based. Could be very heavy. 327 Brisbane Town. Loose then, have five degrees Celsius and a rain slash windstorm. I love the cold, that's awesome. And the storm, let's be real. So eyes on uh, Rescue 533, which is, uh, which is holding uh, on, I think that's Hotel 2, uh, on the other side of the active runway there. That's about, uh, well, it must be about 1.5 kilometres from us, yeah? Maybe even further? Uh, be further, yeah. Maybe nearly two? Probably just over, or around, at least around two, maybe. Yeah, well, the runway's about a K. So maybe, it's maybe, a bit of a maybe about one. It's deceiving, isn't yeah, it, the it distance? Is. Um, yeah. yeah. Because I always think it's closer than it actually is. Three zero seconds, there will be helicopter traffic crossing the runway, crossing from right to left, parting out to the west. Helicopter traffic crossing the runway in three zero seconds. There we go. Uh, Lee, HH73. Oh, hey, that reminds me, Maddie. I'm pretty sure you were unloading slash loading my flight to Sydney the other week. Uh, wouldn't, have, wouldn't have been me. I don't do domestic, um, at least at this stage. Uh, I, only, I only work up international on right. Look at that. He's departing before he's even been cleared. <laughs> How about that? He, like, preempted the, the takeoff clearance. Kind of funny. What a job, eh? Uh, direct Bald Hills Mask. So that is pretty much uh, directly across uh, both runways. We'll lose sight of this probably pretty quickly as it goes above the roof. 327 wind, 330 degrees, 7 knots, runway 01 right, clear to land. Amelia Briscoe is here. Good afternoon. There we go, there goes Rescue 533. <laughs> Patrick, uh, okay, now I'll give the stream a like. James <laughs> tracks that uh, private jet very well. Yeah, Patrick doesn't <laughs> hand out his likes. Uh, thank, very, thank you, mate. <laughs> very easily, does he? No, uh, he makes me work for them. There's the old pallet jack tug there. Yeah, we can't really see it, can we? Just behind the terminal, we'll see that beginning. It's taxi, the Dash 8 Q400 very shortly. Another one here uh, boarding at the moment. Uh, Leon Hughes is here. G'day, mate. She is leased to Bank of Utah. I'm guessing that's the global. Um, uh, leased to who, sorry? Bank of Utah. Bank of Utah. Right. There we go. Bankers. Hmm. Shazza, I love the mods here. I don't get picked on over my comments like we do on other stream. Wow, they are. So, always welcome here. I've just missed the touchdown of this Virgin <laughs> 7 3, but um, uh, here it is. What is it, Matt? Uh, hang on. It's, it's <laughs> Virgin 327 in from Melbourne on 0 1 right. Uh, uh, Terry saying the uh, Qantas Retro 59, 20 minutes out, all right, from Cannons. But we haven't seen that for a little while. We love that. Love that livery. Uh, CVG Flights, howdy, guys. Just stopping in to leave a like before bed. Have a great stream. Thank you so much, CVG Flights. Jack Stapleton, hello all from Sunshine Coast. Hello, Jack. Lee, fair enough. Looked a lot like you. Yeah, I'll probably have a doppelganger over in domestic there somewhere, <laughs> right? 
Uh, where's yeah, that? Travels, gonna, where's that light counter? No one's reminded me today. Uh, there it is, 153 already. How about that? That's nice and quick. <laughs> yeah, Patrick. Oh well, then Maddie's too good to work domestic. Uh, only works international. Do you wear a beret while working? <laughs> uh, I don't. I reckon uh, he, he likes to think so. Uh, I, well, I, I'm just trained on wide bodies. Um, oh, you said you've been in the 73 before. Oh, I go in the 73 quite a bit. Yeah. Well, that's not a wide body. <laughs> I'm trained solely on wide bodies, but when they need help on the 73s, right, okay. I'll help okay. on the 73s. But that's that's mainly what Donata does is just the wide bodies. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, just the way it is. Just the way it is, yeah. I was lucky enough, basically. Yeah. Purely luck. Uh, Henry, have you ever pushed an aircraft, Matty? No, I have not. Uh, I've been in the tug plenty of times when it's happened. Uh, Christian, who was in the chat earlier, who I work with, he... Uh, You've pushed with him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he pushes quite a bit. Um... What do we got here? This is the uh, experience. Is that a life flight challenger? Did that just arrive? Uh, it did. It must have just arrived over on left. Zero one left out of sight. Uh, taxiing over to its uh, hangar, uh, same place where the uh, the rescue five thirty three chopper just came from. <laughs> CBG flights. I think turning the stream on was a bad idea. Now I don't want to sleep. Sorry, mate. I mean it's a good problem to have. Um, just leave it on in the background as white noise, mate. We'll try not to be too loud. Oh, John Vogel reckons 8K subs today. <laughs> I don't like preempting it, but uh, look, it's uh, certainly very close. <laughs> oh, there we go. David Cooper was reminding us on, on the light counter right as I put it up. 100 and, uh, what are we now? 172. Top stuff. Uh, John Goldthorpe, hey guys, uh, enjoy your live stream from Auckland, uh, New Zealand. Nice airport, Brisbane. Oh, we'll cross the Dutch. Good on you, John. Welcome. Great to have you here. One I of the on my Xbox, te Xbox teleported to another stream. I didn't even know you could watch YouTube on Xbox. There you go. One of the Qantas 73s just beginning its taxi in front of us here, down at Domestic. No, we're, we're right next to the domestic terminal here at Brisbane. Uh, the international terminal is about two kilometres south, uh, southwest uh, from, from our location. Uh, groovy man's here. G'day, mates. Rigoberto. Good afternoon. Uh, Claire's here as well. G'day, Claire. I don't know how much mat camping is going to go on today. I forgot my comms, so. What, what were you thinking today, mate? <laughs> There's another look at the uh, the KC-30. The, the Royal Australian Air Force KC-30. KC one of seven that the Air Force actually have. Uh, they're all based at Amberley. Uh, not far from here, about 30 nautical miles in a straight line. Uh, but this one's quite special as it's actually uh, uh, the VIP transporter uh, that the PM typically uses to uh, to travel overseas. So I guess you could course call it uh, Albo Force One. <laughs> I like that. Uh, John, Carolyn, did the gifted go through or did I miss it? Did I miss something, mate? I think you did, you know. I think you did. Oh, no. <laughs> John, sorry, mate. That's Matt. That's Matt on the chat today. Oh, uh, it's... it's What we use for the chat is... is uh, it, It's very buggy. So I apologise, mate. We're, uh, we're going to try and fix that, actually, aren't we? We're, we're coming up with a few ideas to, uh, to make it more seamless so that we don't miss things. Uh, but there you go, John. Jo John's just jumped in with five gifted memberships, and that is very kind, mate. Uh, Sorry, mate. Thanks for the reminder. If, uh, <laughs> uh, 
thank you so much. Uh, I can't see the five gifted people here. Uh, I think they've disappeared, haven't they? Could very well have. It's, um... Yeah, we don't have them on the screen anymore, but... That's um, funny, that, isn't it? Uh, good on you, John. That is very kind, mate. Uh, he's always looking after us, and uh, he looked after us uh, very well in Melbourne as well. <laughs> uh, Aiden Buchanan, any chance you can give us a glimpse of how busy the loop is, judging whether I should head there or not? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, I can't zoom in too close, but um, let's have a look. It's quite. It look, does look quite busy in the, uh, the car bit, park area. But uh, uh, there's not too many people actually out no. uh, spotting by the looks of it. I'd, look, most of the time it's just people waiting for families. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. a lot it's of people a go of there. A lot of people go there and wait for uh, arriving aircraft and, and the likes. Um, but yeah, good on you, John. That is very, very kind of you to drop in five new members and uh, welcome to those five new members. You guys will have access to the, uh, to the emojis in the chat straight away. And, uh, and also, we'll be doing some uh, members-only streams from time to time. I think we're overdue for one, too. We are. It's been a few weeks. Uh, Patrick Kemp says, one, Matt Cam, the coffee run. I think I'll get some pretty strange looks, but uh, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, sorry, Carolyn. That was, that was us. We missed it. <laughs> Lee says, sacked. <laughs> Just the 7-3 there, mate. There we go. So, uh, Qantas 533 here that's just about to begin uh, lining up on 0-1 right. One of the Q400s behind. Uh, the 7 is heading to Sydney. Uh, John's saying the Ibis Hotel behind the domestic is good if you want to uh, break up the journey, uh, especially getting into Brisbane late. Uh, never been, but uh, it's on the list. Um, I, I've been eyeing off the uh, the viewing platform at the top of the Ibis there for some time yes, now. Yes, yes. It looks like a uh, ripper spot for, and, uh, for an afternoon cocktail or something, you know. Kev and Brian are actually staying at the Ibis, aren't they? Uh, yeah. I wonder uh, if they get access to that. That'd be wicked. Well, I think they do. I think they, it becomes it comes as part of the package, but I'm sure they'll be able to sweet talk their way into uh, full day's access. I still find <laughs> it strange that they don't use that more often, though. Yeah. Because if you... So, you know, the cafe and the foyer? Let's let's enjoy this quickly and we'll oh, come yeah, back whoops. to it. Yeah. Bonus Done. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, yeah, so the, the cafe and the foyer of the Ibis is always so busy. Uh, so they've obviously got the, you know, uh, you've they've had got the clientele. Yeah, right? yeah. you think they'd have, you know, a little bit of a beer garden up there or something uh, of an Arvo. Yeah, uh, surprising. And the Q400 next. I think it's rolling already. Look at that. Short spacing. Uh, speaking of, Luce is asking how the dashing nest is looking. About 50% uh, capacity, I would say. Yeah. One looks like it's uh, ready to roll out, There's actually. another one just about to push back. But here we go, Qantas Link 171 off to Port Macquarie. John's saying all good boys, I understand. Yeah, thanks again, and yeah, apologies. Um, if we do ever miss it, you, yeah, pull us up. Speaking of the devil as well. Oh, Kev. Kev's jumped in. <laughs> He's gifting five. Oh, mate, that is very kind of you to do that. <laughs> uh, which has gone to, uh, to Skyline, Jack Stapleton, uh, Stephen Murray, uh, Cougar Tracks, and David um, jumping in the uh, lounge courtesy of Kevin from Mountain Flights Live there. Uh, much appreciated, mate. Certainly not required. Um, but greatly appreciated. Uh, Skyline, Jack, uh, Stephen, Cougar, Tracks, and David all getting uh, all getting memberships there, courtesy of uh, courtesy of Kev. So uh, thank you, mate. 
this uh, dash eight is about to push. Uh, we'll come back to that when it does. Uh, the other one already has, I think, too. Uh, that one's heading in. No, it should be heading out. That one? Yeah. No, no, this one here. That one. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, James Martin, beware the loop. And Eastern Brown Snake came right up to me as I was really? there yesterday morning. Fair thing. I mean, look, I, I can't say I'm surprised. It's a very grassy area, isn't it? So um. yeah, <laughs> and and in front of that fence, it, there's quite thick um, bush. Like thick, yeah, thick sort of grass and bush there. So yeah, I guess, I guess it's the perfect uh, habitat for uh, for an Eastern Brown. Mm. But wow, yeah, you got to look out for those. Uh, those little fellas, because they'll, uh, they'll get you. Well, most people don't know how to react um, when they see well, when they get up close to an eastern brown. I've got browns in my shed. Really? Yeah. Resident, a resident brown. I find a new skin every uh, every. Every few months. Keeps the uh, keeps the birds and stuff away. <laughs> but yeah, scary if you find them. Mainly the baby ones you got to look out for. But, uh, yeah, no good, James. Definitely no good. Um, we don't want that. All right. So, got to keep an eye out for the Eastern Browns down at the loop. <laughs> I kind of like snakes. But, yeah, I don't, you know, I understand most people probably don't. No, creepy things they are. Creepy things. Here we go. I think this is about to push. Uh, Nathaniel's here. Uh, g'day, mates. <laughs> Henry, now uh, Matt Cam with the Maccas run. Uh, we, w we will do another Matt Cam Maccas one run one day, but uh, I don't think it's going to be today. Oh, there we go. Um, the the right-hand engine starting up on the dash. Did you miss the other one going out already? Uh, or I just followed that. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's another one here that's just uh, pulling in. It's actually behind the terminal, though, so we can't see it. Oh, there we go. Lee saying uh, it was brain sturgeon chunk, uh, poutine flyer, sewing trolley dolly, and um, Peter that got uh, John Vogel's five oh, gifted memberships. Thanks for that, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lee. Fucking B-Rad saying, my wife keeps telling me I'm gifted. Well, okay, gifted in a challenging way. I get the same from my partner. It's all right. <laughs> How about these um, little pushback uh, things? I want one. Yeah. So bad. I reckon, uh, Gray, what do you reckon the grey market value is in one of those second hand? <laughs> I don't know. You'd probably pick it up pretty cheap, wouldn't you? They'd be electric, wouldn't they? Oh, it'd have to be. Uh, we'll lose sight of that until it begins its uh, taxi. Oh, I've overshot that, but there's a Fokker taxiing on out. This chat's getting really buggy now. It's weird. Oh, I think it's you. I, I, I'm no, no, it's, it's skipping. Oh, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's getting worse. Oh, Ashley's here. Hello, mate. Hello, uh, guys. Sorry, sorry, I'm, sorry late I'm late to, to the party. party. Oh, it's all right. Not at all. It's uh, oh, we've been going for nearly 50 minutes. Far out. That long? Yeah. Then you're still catching up. No, no, no I'm, I'm caught up. Oh, I've right. Caught up for ages. Okay. Yeah. Calm down. Uh, uh, yeah. Welcome again, Ashley. Magda Star. Hello. Is this live? Yes, it is live. We're live here at Brisbane Airport. Probably seeing it. You're probably seeing it on your screen. About 20, 25 seconds delayed. But that's just down to YouTube uh, encoding it. Uh, but yes, we are we are as live as it can possibly be. In fact, oh, I guess we could probably be a little bit closer, but not on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Patrick and no chatting during takeoffs. <laughs> uh, the Fokker 100 is going zero one left for departure. Bam! Oh. Lee jumping in there. Lee. Dropping in the $5 super chat. Thank Cheap you, mate. Super chat. <laughs> Ibis Rooftop 10K celebration stream. 
Uh, that's not a half bad idea, is it? I wonder if they'll have us. <laughs> we'll have to send them an email. <laughs> Chuck and Vogel saying all that. We'll test out the cloud bar at Ridges spot and sit. I have actually stayed at the Ridges down at Sydney Airport before. Uh, very nice. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, raiding uh, John's <laughs> room down there at the Ridges <laughs> uh, in, in three weeks, four weeks even. Qantas 616 just touched down there. In from Melbourne here on 01 right. Uh, Hayden jump in again. Uh, another cheeky five. No, five, well, five get to is, is, is that his second? Is that his second lot of five today? Uh, <laughs> that's gone to uh, CVG Flights. Uh, he's, uh, he's probably asleep now, by now. <laughs> uh, Crispy H, uh, Aerocentric, uh, Greg Smith, and JJ Inc. Welcome, uh, guys. Welcome. Jumping in the, in the lounge, courtesy of one of our moderators there. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne Flights. Thank you, Hayden. That is very kind, mate. Patrick saying, Maddie, uh, Kev uh, Wellington Flights Live is the furthest thing from the devil. Absolutely. Uh, I was talking to him just before the stream. He's always, he's always good for a little pat on the back. <laughs> uh, there's one of the Rex 73s uh, heading out for uh, departure on zero run right. Uh, Re Brad, you'll be, uh, you'll be on this in, in, in just a short week. <laughs> is it next weekend? I think it's next Saturday. Brad's uh, going to be flying the, uh, the Rex 73. Again. Henry, does Swissport do domestic uh, and Donata do the international? Well, uh, Swissport do international as well, but they'll do uh, different carriers. So uh, I know Swissport do Qantas Link here in domestic, um, but you'll have Swissport and Menzies. Uh, and then in international, you've got Swissport, Menzies and Donata. They, they, they all just handle different, different carriers. With different air, airlines, I should, I should probably say. But. Oh, John, John Vogel reckons uh, reckons that um, lots of brown snakes at Melbourne. I mean, it's very. We did notice it was very grassy uh, down there around, especially around the perimeter. So, um, yeah, right. Got to be careful then. I well, guess on the other side of the runway there, you are, you, you're literally right in it, aren't you? Yeah, you're in the grass. We saw a small uh, grass fire when we were there, didn't we? Did we? I think we did, didn't we? That was just the dust from the service road. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I need to look over my shoulder. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, <laughs> well, I've just missed this uh, Jetstar. Oh. This Jetstar 321 Neo, the beautiful Jetstar 321 Neo, are arriving on 01 right as Jetstar 148. James, I spoke over the ding dong. I'll do it again. Tezza jumping in with uh, with a gifted five. Uh, is that another? That was another gifted as well. Tezza is that uh, Terry's second lot? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> B stock SD. Uh, Glenn Rob. The, the, the MJ man and born to born to Rome. Born all, to Rome. All getting uh, all getting memberships there. Courtesy Terry. So uh, so another another five well, uh, members to welcome. Another five new members to uh, to the channel. Appreciate that, mate. Big thank you to you. Um, I read that as Born Toro M. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, I don't know what to think sometimes yeah. if you're... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. But, uh, yeah, no, big thanks again, Derry, and welcome to the new members. Thank you, mate. Nana Jules is here. G'day, Nana. Scarier when you're bitten by one. Not me, September last year. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun oh, at wow. all. Would not wish that on anyone, that's for sure. Oh, you put Henry's message up on screen there, but anyway. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I think we got rid of Terry. Um, but anyway, Terry, mate, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you, do the third time. There you go, Terry. <laughs> there we go. Terry's back up on screen. <laughs> you get three ding-dongs, mate. 
Uh, James Martin, uh, well, hello again. Uh, do you welcome visitors up to your stream locations and is there a schedule so we can plan? Hang on, wait for ATC. Uh, yeah, by all means. Uh, actually, we meet people up here quite regularly. Um, the only, uh, well, I shall wait for this. Let's follow this Rex out. Rex, uh, 9.13 to Adelaide. Yeah, the only regular uh, day that, that we kind of, you know, we're, we're here the same time every week typically is uh, Sunday afternoon in this time slot. So we're usually here till uh, sunset. I mean, Friday's quite regular too. It so like has been, it has been. But yeah. we're not a time. There hasn't been a regular time for Friday. No, so we don't um, have a fixed schedule. But, um, and, and that's just, just down, to, um, down to work commitments and stuff. Um, but, yeah, yeah Jay, if, you, if you aim to be out here on a, on a uh, Sunday, yeah, Sunday uh, afternoon. We'll typically be here. Sunday afternoon is probably the best time to come out and say hello, for sure. Probably can start scheduling a bit more in advance for some of those days, though. Qantas 524 in from Sydney here. Zero one right. Loose saying, uh, found a grass snake at the skate park once. Completely forgot we have them in England. Um, I find them quite regularly, actually, out um, at my uh, old hobby field when I go out for a little fly. Um, we get little, little, little tree pythons and stuff. The smallest one I found was about, it was literally like 10 centimetres long. It wrapped around my pinky and stuff. It was awesome. I almost wanted to take it home, but... Uh, Brad, look out for the Brisbane Loop snakes, yes. At Qantas Link, Dash 8. Oh, this is not the Dash 8, Matt. What are you... <laughs> hey? The Dash 8, Roland. Oh, okay. I think he's asleep. <laughs> Qantas Link, 362. Rotating there, heading to Wagga Wagga, the Q400. Uh, and then the Retro is coming in very close behind. Uh, Lanka celebrating one month in the lounge. Uh, greetings from the Czech Republic. Well, welcome again. Uh, thanks for your support, mate. We appreciate it. Uh, what am I missing? The next one. The Retro. Corner 713 touching down here from Cairns. The Retro 59. Uh, livery. <laughs> Terry, do a Macca's run next week, mate. I'll have a strawberry sundae with a flake, please. <laughs> Can't forget the flake, mate. <laughs> ah, look at this stunner. The 1959 retro uh, livery on the, on the Qantas 73. I can tug. <laughs> oh, I really don't like the electric tag. Uh, tugs. Uh, Owen's here. G'day, mate. Hello, Owen. Hope you're well, mate. Happy Sunday. Some trouble will be found with you lot, you know, as long as there is photos. I was actually thinking of vlogging the thing. What was the ATC saying just there? Something about three minutes ago? Did you I hear that? that. No, I can't multitask. Uh, Sally's here. Hello, Sally.
Henry, is, is it me lagging or anyone? I don't uh, I think, think it's we're just lagging. You, mate. It might just be you, mate. I hope. Oh, of course, yeah. PJ helped me. James Martin, yes. Uh, level 9 of the domestic car park um, is where we use this string from. Uh, Maggie Lee's here. Hello, Maggie. Uh, Rigoberto. Did I say hello to Rigoberto already? But hello, mates. Hope you're doing well. Shazza, Matt and James, are you going to the air show on August Gold Coast? We'll probably go. I don't know full stream. Yeah. We haven't had, we haven't planned anything, and it's probably too late to. So, um, but uh, yeah, if I if I get the day off, I'll definitely be going. Oh, there we go, Brad, 13th of April. Uh, well, right, six dates, there we go. Uh, Crispy H is here, g'day mates. Congrats on the uh, gifted membership as well, welcome. Uh, Brian's in the Lurkers Lounge today. No worries, mate. Doing a tidy up for the Legends arrival. Uh, Kev of WFL. Oh, he's got us in the, on the earphones. Good on you, mate. G'day, Brian. Uh, Felix Brown, good morning from Philadelphia. Hello, mate. Uh, who knows about me? Good afternoon. Caf Media is here. Hello, Caf. Gary M as well. I think I already said hello, but there's two for you. Five Star Cyclist. Good afternoon, mates. <laughs> Patrick. Ah, oh, are, are we talking over them? Are we? Are we? <laughs> I apologise, mate. Oh, we're always reminding you. It's a bad too. habit, and you know why we do it? Because we don't have the microphone sound in our ears. No. Uh, but mainly because it's very distracting. So um, so maybe we do need to listen to it. Qantas uh, 627 holding short there down at Alpha 7 for uh, 01 right departure. Uh, I don't think it's called ready yet, so uh, still waiting for that. Uh, Vert, do you get many snakes on the tarmac? Uh, not that I really experience. There's only one experience that I recall, and that was actually a snake hiding in, the, in someone's tug. Really? Uh, yeah, a brown snake, which they found while they were driving. <laughs> which would, so, yeah, obviously they jumped off that pretty quick. And rightly so. Yeah, but outside of that, I don't uh, actually see much wildlife at all. There we go, corner 627. Uh, clear for takeoff. Zero one right. Uh, Michael Tondi, greetings from uh, As Asbury Park. Uh, good on you, mate. Welcome. Carolyn saying, I think not, but it's taken an early minute and left the building. Is that OPM bot? Is it Gonski? Oh, no. <laughs> really? What's going on there? I don't know. Uh, modified here. Good day, mates. Wind shear. Wind shear, boy. 200 feet. 200 feet on final. There we go. We'll, we'll keep an ear out for that and keep an eye out. Here we go. Corner 627. Uh, rolling. The four Aussie A. Oh, talking over. Aren't they? 
good now. Uh, for the aviators. <laughs> you got to stop uh, doing that. <laughs> I don't notice. Yeah, don't notice. Uh, nice to have the sun out for a change, absolutely. Um, I didn't expect it, to be honest. Uh, especially uh, when I woke up this morning and saw the weather. That was terrible. Uh, Blue Universe. Hi, mate. Seems to be a beautiful day in Brizzy. It certainly is now. It certainly is. And uh, 28 degrees is very fine. Uh, it's due to start cooling down later in the later in the week coming. Uh, yeah, John, it is still it does still feel very humid though. It does still feel humid. Is there a heavy pushing back down at International? Is that heavy? Singapore, Singapore, Singapore yeah. three fifty nine are uh, pushing down at International. Uh, Malaysia A three eighty fan celebrating four months uh, in the lounge there. Six weeks for my birthday. Thanks for a great life. Appreciate it, mate. And uh, thanks for your continued support. Uh, Nathan Weir's here. G'day, mate. Uh, in the Locust Lounge today, doing some more art uh, while watching. Appreciate it. What are you working on today, mate? Uh, Jack Stapleton, as a member, how do I join the Discord? Oh, is is the bot? He's the actually uh, he's actually gone, hasn't he? Shall yeah. I um, have a look at that? Let's have a look. Oh, I missed the bot. <laughs> I think uh, I know what the problem is, and it's not the bot's fault. <laughs> it's my fault, actually. Uh, and, and no, I think that means he's, he's done for the day. So that's a bit of a shame. Maybe we'll have to get the old one back in. <laughs> There we go, Jetstar, 6.56, just heading off there. That one's down to heading down to Canberra, the 320. Uh, Cooper's here. G'day, mate. Happy, uh, happy Sunday. Uh, when you cut line, moving day from Bridging Springs to Manga Hill. I didn't realise you lived in uh, Bridging Springs. Are you Springs. Uh, you're that close? Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know you were in Queensland, Wendy. Uh, Bridgian Springs is actually a beautiful area. Yeah, I don't mind it out there. Yeah. That's where the in-laws live. Oh, right. Yeah. Moving to... Uh, oh, oh, so she's saying on moving day yes. from... Oh, right. So she lives in Mango Hill now. A carpet snake encounter. So you're only just up the road. Sounds like a plan, Nathan. Appreciate it, mate. Send it on through. Kevin Triple Sevens here. Hello, mates. Uh, Good day, mates. Uh, relaxing and watching the stream. They're going hand in hand. Hopefully, uh, a cheeky beverage in hand as well. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Carolyn's got the. Um, the uh, the Discord instructions. That's that's a bit of a shame because the, the bot normally tells us how to do it. So um, He's a pro, man, yeah, so. uh, look, I think Carolyn is a Discord pro. <laughs> look at this beautiful uh, special livery on the Fokker. We usually see this on most streams, but um, it's nice to see it close, close up. Celebrating the first ever Trans-Pacific flight.
which was actually on a Fokker itself that's sitting uh, not too far from us here. We've also featured that on the stream in the past. The, uh, the infamous Southern Cross. actually sent that through. He's got the uh, the retro, both retro roofs. Oh, right. He's drawn it. Yeah. He's got oh, a four the, uh, there. the four that the, the, one, four, the six. one four six. <laughs> F eighteen as well. With the uh, Star Trek livery. Love it. Love What's it. it. EA. EA eighteen. You can't. The Growler. You don't want to get that confused again, do you? Uh, <laughs> uh, a Growler. A, look, a Growler is a Super Hornet. Uh, <laughs> no, that's awesome stuff, mate. Thanks for that. All right. Here we go, our next arrival is Qantas Link E-Jets. Qantas Link 1948, coming in from Albury. Uh, now, I say Qantas Link, but the, the Qantas Link E-Jets are all operated uh, by Alliance. So they're all on wet lease. So this one's actually uh, painted in Alliance colours. Uh, no worries, Cooper. We'll, uh, we'll keep you company in the uh, in the meantime. Uh, Paulie's here. G'day, mate. Ah, uh, that's right. I, I, I did think you weren't in um, Queensland, Wendy. Moved to Melbourne to be near grandchildren. Oh, there we go. Uh, Singapore has pushed back, and I believe it's beginning its taxi down at International. We can't see it just yet, but we're keeping an eye out. The Discord queen, Brad reckons. Carolyn. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I might put that on her title, actually. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll put it under your title for the, the Discord, uh, the banner. So there is an issue on taxiway. Is it Bravo? Uh, yeah. Everything's using Alpha, so they're all turning left onto Alpha here. You should be able to see the cones. Uh, I, can s I can't see it. The camera might be. Actually, you can. I can just see the, the US cones there. It's down there, yeah. A little bit to the left, and then you'll obviously... Yeah, but that's where the work's going on. Yeah. You can see some of the section there. Oh, yeah, the cones blocking, yeah. off, uh, blocking off the taxiway. Doing. Uh, well, obviously doing some sort of surface repairs. Uh, Brisney Triple Seven, uh, hello everyone. More planes. No wonder I never get anything done around my place for weekends. Anyways, <laughs> oh, apologies, mate. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome, mate. Great to have you with us. Chucking on in the background, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll try not to distract you, mate. But no, no promises. What am I looking for? Here we go. Uh, Brian DeBert Golf's here. Hello, mate. Yeah. <laughs> OPN bot has uh, has left the building, and I, I, I know why, and, and it's not his fault, so we can't blame him. Uh, and I wish I could, uh, <laughs> I wish I could fix it here, but uh, I can't, can't until I get home. So the Qantas Link Embraer lined up and rolling on 01, right? 
Uh, this is Qantas Link 1907. So another one of the uh, Alliance operated Embraer's. Uh, heading to Canberra, the nation's capital. Oh, I changed that while you were... It's definitely <laughs> not a Singapore 359er, Matt. Yeah, but it, is, uh, it is quite patient down the end. Right ah, has is it, is it finished its taxi already? It has too. That was very short. There it is, the uh, the 359er. So that will be departing on 01 right by the looks of it. Uh, I believe, yes, the Jetstar 320 is going to head out first. Uh, where's that? It's, uh, it's a little bit further up at Alpha 7. Uh, lined up. Uh, uh, Brian saying, looks like a storm brewing heading our way. Maybe. Oh, really? You know what's um, five minutes until start as well, the Formula One? Handyman Gavin's here. G'day, mate. Singapore 236 Heavy, Brisbane Tower. G'day. Singapore 236 Heavy. Tuning into Brisbane Tower. Tower South. 542 Delta, thank you. Fine, setting right 120, line up runway 01 right and wait. Uh, Tremaine's here as well, chiming in from uh, from Vegas. Welcome, mate. Oh no, that was a terrible pan. <laughs> yeah. So um, so two. Two tower frequencies for, uh, well, one for each par parallel runway here at uh, uh, Brisbane Airport. Uh, two kilometre separation between the two parallel runways. It's funny, when you're up here, you wouldn't think it was 2Ks, would you? The separation. No. no it's a bit of an illusion, though, isn't it? We're sort of bang in, in the middle, so we're about a kilometre from the runway at the closest point here. Um, so around around now, we're about a kilometre from that. Uh, the Qantas Link Dash 8 departing to uh, Longreach. Uh, local plane spotters here as well. G'day, mate. Welcome. Henry is reminding you about the F1. It's on now. Wow, race start in a couple of minutes, yeah. <laughs> Velocity 1265, runway 01 right, clear for And uh, so, so we're getting all the uh, domestic movements out before the Singapore 359er. We've got a Fokker heading out next. Killing 542 Delta, contact the uh, Ricky G'day. Hammonds here as well, good day, mates. And Kurt Erickson from Wisconsin. There we go, Virgin 1265, the Alliance Fokker 70 operating to Emerald uh, on 01 right. Patrick James uh, talking over the JQ takeoff as did well. Did I? Did yeah. I really? Did. <laughs> I didn't even realise. Uh, 
<laughs> there we go. There's the Singapore. Uh, I think the Singapore 350 is lining up now. Uh, going full length, of course, from Alpha Niner. Might get a pair of shot collars. Give the button to Carolyn. Let me talk on the talk over the departure. Yeah. You get the F1 race up, mate. No, I'm just uh, picking up my phone. Oh. Uh, Gosman's here as well. G'day, mates. Runway 01 right, clear for takeoff. <laughs> Tremaine uh, getting ready to watch a disappointing uh, Mercedes race in Suzuka. Well, mate, look, that is, <laughs> it's half the reason why I'm not even going to bother <laughs> watching the race today. Because I think we all know, we all know what the outcome is going to be. <laughs> Here we go, Singapore 359 are rolling. Steve Murphy's here, just in time for Singapore. Uh, at Norflex Sporto right now, stop it. Uh, Haven't been there in a long time. No. <laughs> I bet it's busy, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, grab yourself a, uh, a cheeky, cheeky beverage for us, mate. Uh, or a surf and turf, maybe. I reckon I do a good surf and turf. Uh, but yeah, welcome, Steve. It's good to have you. Uh, Manuel's here as well. So the Singapore 359 uh, will... Will make a few right-hand turns uh, and it will actually go back over the field at about 10,000 feet uh, it will go directly over the top of us and uh, I'll try and keep an eye out uh, for that uh, the, the cloud cover is kind of um, you know, a lot of it's uh, just dissipating and disappearing isn't it so so we might be able to see it we'll, we'll come back to it uh, John Vogel, uh, James, is this the same camera I have? 4K on the TV, it's fantastic. So, uh, so this will be... Oh, wait, hang on a sec. Uh, this will be very different to the camera or, or the setup that you've seen when we were in, in, in Melbourne, man. This is why I guess we need to get you up here, mate, because uh, yeah. the setup is very different up here at uh, Only Plains um, HQ. Yeah, but virtually nothing we were using uh, down in Melbourne, uh, bar the laptop, uh, is the same. So, so it's very different, mate. So I do have that camera here. I haven't, I haven't really set it up just yet. Uh, this one's more like a telescope. <laughs> yeah, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. The uh, the Virgin uh, 737-700, so the short variant, uh, rolling full length on 01 right heading to Launceston. The 334 line up 01 right and wait for the station. One point, John. So there was a few, uh, there was a re few reports out of wind shear at 200 feet a little while ago, but that seems to have, um, well, it seems to have cleared. There's no, there's not been any further reports. 
uh, Lucky Charm fan is here as well. G'day, mates. Kev saying o OPM bot seems to want James to convert to streaming from a Windows laptop. Uh, probably needs to happen one day. Um. Oh, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it probably will have to. Uh, I I've made it pretty clear that I don't like Windows, <laughs> haven't I, in the past? Um, yeah. But I think, uh, I think it might be the future for, for streaming anyway. Mark 2 is here. G'day, mate. Uh, hi, guys. Great job. Uh, Friday. Uh, great job, Friday, streaming the Cooler 787 coming in. Uh, our pleasure. Oh, thank Cooler, you, Mark. Uh, mate, that was such good fun, actually. That was, uh, that was an awesome day. And uh, we we hit some we we made some new records uh, personal records didn't we um, for yeah. some of our streams which is very nice you know yeah, we, we for hit a little Friday stream <laughs> well I wouldn't call it a little Friday stream but well, we, what was going to be a we we, we hit a thousand likes for the very first time on a stream which was just incredible um, a, a huge milestone for us. It was very very exciting. Ash C's here from uh, from Vietnam. Welcome, mate. Good to see your rain has disappeared for a while. Yeah, it's cleared up pretty well. Uh, Brian was saying that there's a, a little bit of a storm brewing, maybe. And I know the forecast um, did state that there could be storms this afternoon, although uh, becoming less likely as the day goes on. Uh, I'm just looking at the radar now, and yeah, up to the north. Um, Sunshine Coast, Mullaney area. There is a, there is quite a quite a storm cell that has uh, that has popped up. Although it's not currently moving, it looks pretty static. Beer out jumping in there with uh, with five gifted memberships, uh, which is going to uh, to Nigel, uh, Laura S, Jim, Carl, and Lenny. Um, all jumping in the lounge courtesy of Brad with 1,000 flight level there. So a big thank you to you, mate. Um, thank you, Brad. That is very kind, mate. Uh, good on you. Now, where's the Singapore? Oh, it's nearly it's nearly straight overhead now. Uh, it's at about 10,000 feet. Uh, I I don't have visual on it, unfortunately. I think it's too high. Uh, those of you following along on flight radar would see that it's right overhead right now. By the time this uh, comes through to you, probably about 20 seconds time, and that would have passed over. Uh, I've just spotted the Life Flight Challenger on the move again, actually, I think. It's the Life Flight Challenger. I think they're saying, what, Henry and Lee sounds are red flag already. Really? Oh, stop it. <laughs> You're missing out, mate. Uh, take the camera, mate. I'm going to get it up on here. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll have it on oh, in the background. Cool. How good's that? Cool. What are, you, what are you doing, Matt? <laughs> well, you've got the you've got rid of the chat, so I have to try and bring it up on the phone. There you go. Is that the? Oh, yeah, red flag. How about that? Uh, who's that? Looks like a, a Williams. 
Ew. Nasty. Is that another chassis for the Williams going? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop. And you're saying Danny Rick is there. <laughs> Oh, good on you, Brisney 777. Thank you, mate. Um, yeah, Friday, uh, the, the Hawaiian Airlines uh, 787 string was outstanding. Oh, that's very, very kind of you to say that. And uh, we're actually, we've got another heavy uh, on the way out, which uh, which I would imagine will be going 01 left anyway, so it's going to be a long taxi for the uh, Omni Air 76, although we'll, we'll find out in a minute because it kind of looks like it might be going on 01 right. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. There yeah. we go. Zero, one, six, three, runway zero, one, right. It did come in on zero, one, right. It's very rare to see the Omni go out on, on zero, one, right on this runway, on the Legacy. So Peter's saying uh, a life flight challenger going to Roma. Right. Uh, well, actually, when the rescue 533 left, it went to Bundy. Right. Okay. Well, only just um, of course uh, the life flight challenger actually only just uh, arrived back. Quick turnaround and on the way back out. Cooper, we've had over 300 likes today, guys. Great stuff. Yes, we have. 300. Oh, 317 already, which is uh, not bad for an hour and uh, an hour and 25 minutes. So thank you, everyone. Thank you to the 317 of you that have hit the like button already. It, it means a lot to us, and uh, and it helps us a lot. So uh, thank you. Want to get this up, mate? Well, you can't because it's Omni, mate. Yeah, it's still yeah. <laughs> operating uh, operating for Air New Guinea, the Omni 76. Heading home to Port Moresby, and it's Matt on the Mac on the on. I was about to say Matt Cam. It's Matt on the uh, camera controls now. So let's see how he does. Oh, thanks for bringing that to light. <laughs> Pressure's on. No, a bit average. A bit average. I've been on this end probably a number of weeks, actually. Yeah, yeah, I've been on the Mac camp. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Brad's saying uh, the Q&H is uh, dropping slowly. Uh, I'm guessing because of the storm activity that's sort of starting to pop up to the north. So Omni Air is uh, operating a wet lease for New Guinea. It has been for the last six months or so. Uh, we're expecting that to end uh, sometime this month. Gordon Hawks is here. G'day, mate. Uh, Christopher Cotton's here. Hello, mate. Uh, joining us from California. Uh, refuel on 1972. Welcome back. Uh, Today from Perth, and uh, what's this? Oh, I've got to read that out. Uh, and thanks to Johnny Vogel for my gifted membership. Loving the stream. Oh, Appreciate it. Yes, uh, good, good on John for jumping in with uh, some gifted memberships earlier. Uh, thank you to him again. Uh, Jack Stapleton, which country is Omni Air from? Well, uh, the US. I, I don't know exactly where they're based. I, I've, 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 well, I, I've, I'm sure I have known at some point, but don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, I know they have some 30, I believe. Is it 30 or 20? 767s in their fleet. Uh, Ashley's saying is the Omni Air a military charter I often see on Flight Radar 24, but never know what it is. Well, I believe they do have some military contracts, yes. Which is why they're, a lot of their aircraft are blocked uh, to, the, uh, to the Flight Radar apps. Uh, Brisney 777, do we assume New Guinea has a 767 out of service? Yes, I believe that's the case. Uh, 
uh, and uh, New Guinea are due to retire their remaining 767s in the not too distant future. To be replaced by uh, Dreamliners. Terry's back, hello mate. Can you get this up, mate? There it goes, the Life Flight Challenger Cut heading to Roma. Very, line, very quick right rotation. Probably lose sight of that, oh, I, I think. I think I will, yeah. Pretty quickly. There it goes. Off of zero one right. Next up is uh, next up is Qantas 539, another 73 going to Sydney. Uh, lining up there. And there we go. Uh, WB Travels, the Omni 76 is based in Seattle, my home airport. Well, thank you for that, mate. Runway zero one right, clear for takeoff. Yes, Sharon. Oh wow! Just realised daylight savings has finished. Brisbane, thirty minutes ahead now. Of course. Oh, Adelaide. <laughs> we forgot Adelaide. <laughs> um, oh, the thirty-minute time zone. That is so confusing. You can you can keep that one. Disney 777 saying uh, New Guinea have ordered two 78s uh, due to be delivered uh, well very soon I believe uh, Mag to Star no that wasn't an exec jet that was a uh, the previous departure was uh, an air ambulance I guess you could call it mm. life flight yeah life flight Uh, Rollins, greetings from uh, Latvia. Have a nice stream. Thank you, mate. Uh, welcome. Uh, Patrick heading off. Uh, good on you, mate. 10.14pm uh, here in Redmond. And I've been up since 4.50am. Fantastic <laughs> stream as always. early night for you, mate. Yeah, no, that is an early <laughs> one. Oh, good to have you with us, mate. And um, I'm sure we'll catch up with you very soon. So, uh, I'll talk to you later, mate. Carolyn can uh, rest easy now. <laughs> get this up mate next arrival virgin uh, 947 from sydney here on zero one right And Patrick, just before you go, mate, I have to say thank you. I think you did it before we started. Uh, I, and I haven't got it up. I haven't got it up on the screen. But, mate, uh, yeah. an absolutely, he made an absolutely incredible contribution uh, to the show um, before we started. And, mate, uh, and, and it's absolutely mega. It was $150 uh, on the PayPal link. And, oh, it um, disappeared. And, and I didn't... I, <laughs> Yeah, we, we didn't see it uh, before we started there, but, mate, oh, apologies, uh, mate. Patrick, thank you, mate. Definitely <laughs> sad. <laughs> uh, it doesn't come, it hasn't come through in the chat. And, and, and look, uh, I do have to just make a very special mention there to, to Patrick for his incredible support of, of our channel. Um, he's he's uh, it's been absolutely outstanding, and, and, yeah, what more can I say? 
Very, very kind, mate. And, um, yeah, well, I'll talk to you soon, mate. Um, have a good night. Hopefully we didn't just miss him. Virgin 179, the Max 8 heading off to Nandi there from 0-1 right. Uh, one, of, uh, one of four Max 8s that uh, Virgin Australia actually has. That was off pretty quick too, actually. Uh, Carlwood Davis, the Qantas A330 from Auckland, Qantas 126, estimate arrival time, 4.49pm. We love the Qantas 126, it's one of the regulars we get on the show during these uh, afternoon time slots. Uh, that will be uh, probably around the same time as the Qatari then, Carwin. Uh, Goliath, hello mates. Uh, thank you to whoever gifted me a membership. Love the work you guys do. Uh, deserve every bit, every bit of uh, of it, you lot. Thank you, mate. That I appreciate is very, that. Yeah, mate. very kind words. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we love everyone's company. You know, we're, we're just here doing what we love. So, uh, thank you. Would have been either Tessa Hayden or uh, John Bogle. Uh, I think I do remember reading it the name, but it's hard to keep track. Yes. Uh, Patrick is an absolute legend. <laughs> so uh, I hope I hope he was here to he uh, still here to uh, hear that um, because yeah, and he deserved a very a very special shout out for that one. Uh, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Jack Stapleton. Dropping in that $10 super chat. Thank you, Jack. That is very kind. As I'm still in school, if I wanted to do work experience at Brisbane Airport, who would be best to talk to? That's a great question. It's a great question. And, and I guess it depends what you're wanting to do. Uh, are, you, are you wanting to, to do something with an airline or, or, or a company that, that, that operates on site or, or Brisbane Airport themselves, I guess, uh, is probably the, the first question. Um, I would have thought, I would have thought contacting an airline is probably the first port of call. If you're wanting to do something, uh, something uh, to do with the aircraft or uh, operation side of things. Uh, although, yeah, uh, what do you reckon, Matt? Well, yeah, I definitely said specifically Beanie Airport, so I guess... Um yeah, you've got like pack services or, or, or ground services as well. Um, you can probably contact them directly. But I don't actually know of any uh, of any channels for that sort of thing. So that's um, I, I wouldn't mind checking that out myself. Um, Tell you what, I'll put that on notice and I'll, I'll do a bit of research for you. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe have an answer for you by the next stream. So keep an eye out <laughs> and remind me. Yeah, because that is an interesting one. The uh, beautiful Qantas Link Dash 8 Q400 uh, that we're looking at now has just arrived from Harvey Bay over on 01 left, taxiing on in. Carwin Davis, uh, the Qatari Triple uh, from Doha, due in at 4.43pm uh, local time. So, so yeah, they are very close together, the, the 3.30. The Qantas 330, the Qatari triple. Uh, Melody, good morning from uh, Chicago. Love your live stream and your accent. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. Appreciate that, mate. Which which one of us, Matt or, or myself, James? Probably you. You're a bit <laughs> better better spoken than me. Yeah, but it's not necessarily Australian accent though. That's the thing. <laughs> No, you've got like a, um, a hybrid, don't you? Yeah, it's a bit of a hybrid. 
Uh, Big Al's here. Good morning, guys and crew from the UK. Welcome, Big Al. Hope you're doing well, mates. There we go. Jack saying uh, Brisbane Airport in general will hopefully get experience across all aspects. Well, kind of, you kind of have to sp specialise in, in one um that's the problem. One you've, area. Got, you've got a lot of different companies that, that work under that, I guess, that banner, so to speak. Yeah. There, and then you know, they're all separate there's to not, each other. There's not many people here that would be involved in everything. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Um, you know, by, by, by the, the top management, I would say. And even then, uh, they're pretty segregated. Uh, maybe, maybe someone like the CEO would be involved with everything, but not many others. Sure, there are there are channels that that exist for that sort of thing, though. Um, so it's, it's something for us to check out, Jack. My school at uh, Roller Coaster Harry saying my school offered me work experience with Virgin Australia. Well, there you go. We're looking at Qantas uh, 629 here, uh, holding short uh, at Alpha 7, but it's not going to be going out yet. Uh, there is an arrival coming in first. Matt's still getting the hang of the camera. Oh, I forget how fast it is. <laughs> Um, Corners 526 is going to be coming in first, which we've got eyes on now. Must be an RV camera, hey? Yeah. <laughs> 7 3 coming in from Sydney. Um, Peter Jones, uh, when I was at high school in Adelaide, we had a careers advisor who we spoke to about work experience, and they would contact the company that you wanted to do it with. Yeah, you know what? I feel, that, I feel like that rings a bell from when I was in uh, high school. But that was a long time ago now. Mm. How long now? <laughs> oh, mate, that must be, uh, what are we, what are we, I was looking at my watch there. <laughs> um, uh, what, what year are we? 2024. So, uh, so at least 14 years. Probably not a long, to long time to compared to, uh, <laughs> compared to most watching, but so, yeah, it feels like a long time. Big 3-0 this year, mate. That's come up quick. Has it has? There we go. Connors five twenty six in from Sydney on zero one right. There you go, Pete saying that was back in the nineteen eighties. And look, I, I doubt anything's changed, mate. But Melody saying uh, both of us, so she likes, she enjoys both of our accents. Oh mate. yeah, it's probably a good <laughs> contrast. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Michael Sutherland, good afternoon, guys. Enjoying the channel. Well, welcome, Michael, and thank you, mate. Great to have your company. Brisbane Trains and Aviation celebrating four months in the lounge now. Well, good on you, mate. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Celebrating four months. Uh, thank you for your company uh, for the last, well, four months. That's, uh, that is awesome stuff, mate. Thank you so much for your support, your ongoing support. And we've got corner 629 uh, rolling now. Matt's going to try and pick it up. <laughs> Had to catch it. Um, I think there might be two coffees uh, on, on order uh, very shortly. You reckon? Uh, potentially, yeah. You don't reckon it's a bit late? 3.20, 3 No, not for me, it's not. I had a coffee about 10 o'clock last night, which is probably why I was still in the Discord with the boys. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, caffeine doesn't affect me, though, at all. No, uh, I'm, I'm a bit immune to it as well. Uh, there we go, Connor 629, heading off to Melbourne, and I just spoke through that whole departure. Ah, bugger it. Uh, Mario here joining us from Berlin. Hello, mates. Uh, Webbo's here. Hello, Webbo. Hope you're doing well, my friend. So Jack's saying, uh, okay, maybe then something airport operations side of things, uh, safety, uh, ATC, etc. Okay, so that might be something for maybe even for, uh, uh, BAC S itself or Air Services Australia. Yeah, and Air Services, exactly that. Um, I, know and I imagine Air Services Australia would actually be quite. Uh, they are always doing uh, information events and, and the likes uh, because they are they are short on uh, on on experienced um, uh, controllers and the likes. So um, oh, wow, I got over there pretty quick. 
I didn't. I'm wondering. That. I'm wondering what you're doing here, watching your uh, pan and. <laughs> but there's the storm cell in the background. Yeah, yeah. Back um, to the north. Uh, I've Matt, completely missed that. Matt is. Uh, he's he's not been on the camera for a little while. So no, no, it's been a hot minute. He's uh, he's getting used to it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, Carolyn, uh, hi guys, we're just uh, hoping people not post about the Formula 1 race. That's <laughs> the hosts and uh, some viewers are going to watch after the stream. Yeah, I've decided not to watch it now as well, Carolyn, so yes. Uh, we'll I can I can see you jumping over there. Yeah, then. I, I did, I, and I'm going to turn it off. There we go. Yes, I'm going to sure? watch it later. Uh, Cougar Tracks is, is here, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, got gifted a membership today as well, I believe, so welcome, mate. Uh, I believe one of the... Oh. This looks like showers out there, doesn't it? Over yeah. there, uh, oh, one of the Dash 8's peeing because it, um, it is taxiing, actually, that. Uh, Matt. Remember that water spout we got a couple of weeks back? Yes, that would have been bay. incredible to see on stream, wouldn't it? Because you would have. You would have. Yeah, that was actually... Would've. Brisbane Airport posted a photo on their Instagram of the water spout out, out in the bay. Yeah. Uh, what, a, what an incredible well, shot. I got photos and videos myself. I was... Uh, it looked like a, a tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Big fan of that Twister movie. They're making it a second one, I believe, now, actually. Well, there we go. Uh, Pete saying, James, it was a good chat on Discord last night. Just to think at uh, the start, I was struggling to join. Now, enjoy it. <laughs> Another place to put photos as well. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been sharing some fantastic photos uh, from all around the world. I know, I, love, I know it's a little bit, uh, might be a little bit difficult to get into uh, for some, but uh, there is a reason we, we've done it all like that. Um, and as far as building an ecosystem that, that works the way it does, Discord was, was just the best solution, all in one solution for that. Yes, yeah. Um, and once you're in, you're sorted. You get to carry on like everyone did last yeah, night. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I missed out, I was in bed. Uh, Goliath, I went through an Air Services Australia uh, ATC traineeship. Made it through the first three stages of tests, but didn't meet the mark for the fourth or so. Worth the shot, though. Oh, there you go. Uh, I would imagine. I would imagine it's very hard to get into the, the aptitude testing and, and the likes. So uh, yeah, you do need to be quite skilled to make it to make it through. Not many do, I would imagine. <laughs> Tessa, uh, I'm sure I speak for the entire chat uh, and all watching that uh, we appreciate your sacrifice today, James. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Ah, <laughs> oh, mate. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you've never missed a race, have you? I, well, I, I don't often miss races. I, look, uh, at one point I hadn't missed one for many, many years, but uh, uh, more so recently okay. I haven't. I haven't been getting up at stupid times, especially for the... Uh, the American races because they're just uh, they're just at ridiculous times in the morning for us here. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's not necessarily true anymore. Uh, we do have an arrival coming in next on zero one right, not too far off. It's a uh, Qantas Link Embraer from Canberra. Matt's still on the camera, so uh, let's cheer him on here. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. And there it is. Honest Link 1910. Sun's come out again. And it's gone. <laughs> Uh, Goliath, Air Services Australia, said themselves that I believe only 3% of applicants make it through. Well, there you go. What a, what a figure. Yeah, wow. That is uh, 
be like, well, that's, a, that's crazy. It's one in, one in 30 people. I didn't realise that. Making it, through the, uh, making it through the application stages. That's... Um, but it just goes to show what is required. Um, more so a bit of a natural ability, really, to, um, to, to, be, to be capable of doing it, really, isn't it? Uh, that not many people have. And in fact, I, I would say it's probably much harder to be an air traffic controller than, than even a pilot. Uh, Brisbane Trains and Aviation. Yes, we do have a Discord. Um, I think we've, we've never really formally posted it. Um, no. We probably should. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's available to, to any members uh, of the channel. And um, you can join it by linking your YouTube account in the settings of, of your Discord. Uh, so, so if you go into the settings and then you hit connections, I think it is, you can link your YouTube and then the channel will show up uh, available to join. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to have a chat behind the scenes. Off stream. Uh, Cookie, Cookie Studios is here. G'day, mates. Welcome. I do plane spotting on Instagram. Good stuff. Groovy man loves the uh, sound of the Dash 8 props. <laughs> Same. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Actually, even, I love the Saab. I was about to say, the yeah. Saab. The Saab is so so loud. Yeah. Uh, especially when you get up close down at um, the Fockernest, as we call it. I mean, I can go down there. I just, I won't be able to hear you. you you'll be able to hear me. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, yeah, which will be a bit odd. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll just start. <laughs> I'll just start talking over you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll probably get very annoying, actually. Uh, Harold is here joining us from Germany, 7.34 a.m. Of course, uh, no daylight savings. Uh, well, sorry, they're in daylight savings there now in Europe. So uh, so an hour ahead, uh, only nine hours behind us now. Welcome, mate. Uh, John Vogel, 49 subs to go. Yeah, right, 49 to late thousand. Are we going to do it today? Possibly. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a stretch, I think, but who knows? It depends what YouTube thinks. It's all about what YouTube wants. How is he coming from Germany? Welcome. Love the stretch golf buggy down there. Well, that's all it is, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> you know, the stretch. What do, what do they use them for? Well, it must just be for crew. Maybe VIPs or... Uh... One of the Qantas 73s uh, taxiing out for departure on 01 right. Uh, Qantas 1078, which will be going to Mount Isa. Is it going 01 right? I think it is. Surprising though, because Mount Isa is a, it should be traditionally a 01 left departure. Uh, no worries, Peter, happy to help. I know it's a little bit, uh, a little bit confusing sometimes, but we got you there in the end, mate. Uh, who, who's, who's been following the uh, who's been following the Qantas 380, the very first one, uh, Oscar Quebec Alpha, which has uh, just Correct. arrived back in Australia? Did you see that on, on Sid Squad yesterday, Matt? No, I did not. No, the the one that was involved in that incident in Singapore back many many years ago, um, after after being in storage since what 2020, uh, and having having some uh, heavy maintenance and a refit I believe done in Abu Dhabi uh, made its way back uh, to Australia yesterday arrived back and, and went straight back into service uh, heading over to LAX pretty cool to see
CJ McRobbie just pulled up at the loop. So watching you, watching the planes. Oh, well, can you see us? Let's have a geese. You probably can see the tripod uh, sticking up. I know. Look, to be honest with you, it's hard to see over there. It is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you're still, you must be, what, uh, 1.5 Ks? Thereabouts. Some, something Pro something round about there. But you, uh, you, you can't tell from being up here, but, you know, uh, because you're backlit as well, you cast quite a big shadow yeah. here over the car park. So. Yeah, yeah. Probably get a torch going, you'd be able to see it. But. Uh, Mud Crabs is here. Hello, mate. Uh, great afternoon so far. I hope you're doing well. DJ Beach buggies used for ground crew. Oh, sorry, for crew. But mainly to transport uh, mobility impaired passengers from the uh, terminal to the aircraft. If there's a bit of a distance, yes. I don't believe it's begun boarding yet. Uh, Christopher Hooper's here. Hey, guys, watching you from the middle of the Pacific, going to Hawaii on the Quantum of the Seas. So uh, so good to see you guys. What are you doing here? Oh, I was trying to find the bird. But... Um, oh, I'm well <laughs> off, am I? <laughs> Mates, you are, um, you are well off. Um, how, how, how does that work with the Wi-Fi? Uh, Chris, that's pretty awesome that you can watch us from the middle of the Pacific. Must be like a, a Starlink or something. Uh, next arrival, not far off. Here we go. Rex 348 from Sydney. Coming in 01 right. Craig Murray, all I see is brown snakes. <laughs> Are you down there? <laughs> Tessa, I just heard Baza. He's, uh, he's just crowing in the corner. There's a bit of rain over the bay. Are we going to get some rain? Are we going to get a bit of a storm? I can feel That's some drops. Telling you before, I could, you know, it does look like showers out there. Yeah, see? Yeah, there is, there is a few showers um, coming from the north, so maybe we will. Maybe we will get a bit of rain uh, this afternoon here at Brisbane. Uh, next Qantas 73 is lining up on 01 right, Qantas 1078 that we saw just before. Uh, just heading to Mount Isa. There's that KC again. Uh, James Martin, uh, do you both work at the airport? No, just me, mate. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm only, uh, only sort of in the last six months or so as well. I was in the mines before that, but I didn't really like the roster. <laughs> I just wanted to stay close to home and do something I sort of enjoy. Oh, Craig Murray's not there. Negative. Uh, despite the sun uh, outshining out there, um, I've uh, I've stayed home this Arvo just threw the kettle on. Fancy a cuppa? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bring me one up? <laughs> Ooh, my one up now, actually. Uh, Jack Stapleton, what time will you guys stream to? Well, so we can't see. So we can't see anything. Um, uh, till we till we run out of light, basically, Jack. Which, uh, well, I expect. What time sunset? That is a good point. What time is sunset? Uh, which is at 5:39 p.m. So I reckon we'll probably get till about six. Maybe just we'll probably won't be able to see much after about six. We'll see how we go though. I know we we stayed a bit later last week, didn't we? Mm. And actually, it was quite enjoyable. So but we'll see. Virgin 960, heading to Sydney.
Cassie Stewart, hi from Memphis, Tennessee. My roommate routinely flies into Brisbane with United Airlines. I think we've spoken about this before, Cassie, actually. I remember having this conversation with you. Uh, United Airlines flying here, uh, how many times weekly is it now? Is it three or four times weekly? Um, so that would be from San Fran, yeah, Cassie? Velocity 958, runway 01 right, give the take off. But I hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Next to, next departure is already rolling. Virgin 958 heading to Sydney. Another one to Sydney. big shout out to uh to johnny big mac if you're watching mate uh he jumped in and uh, and, and, and bought us three coffees earlier on before we started streaming actually oh i did see him in the chat before we started so uh johnny if you're watching mate thank you thank you so much for your uh, very kind uh, very kind gesture there mate. So, uh, great to have your company uh he loved the hawaiian string on friday so um yeah, great stuff mate Got a duck on the pond, rolling now. Jetstar 821, 320 heading to Sydney. <laughs> Another one to Sydney. Uh, it's all happening down in Sydney today, by the looks of it. Magda Star, how busy is Brisbane at night? Well, uh, not very, not very busy. busy. Uh, it's uh, not very busy in Brizzy. <laughs> uh, it's Probably more so of a weekday, really, isn't it? Yeah, week, weekdays are obviously going to be uh, busier mm. with, with freight movements uh, between between yeah, so Sunday night and, um, Mark, and Thursday nights, point. I guess. Uh, but... Yeah, there is, there is a few heavy overnight movements, uh, likes of Emirates, the Triple, uh, Cafe, Cafe, Cafe yeah. Pacific, yes. Uh, what else have we got? There's the... Uh, uh, you get uh, China Airlines comes back. China well. Airlines is quite yeah. a late departure. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. Actually, more nights next week, funnily enough. Oh, really? Yeah. So maybe yes. you'll be out here doing an early uh, morning stream for, by yourself. <laughs> an early morning stream? <laughs> yeah. I'll do nights. Do a night stream, maybe. Uh, Goliath, I know this isn't a Q&A, but how and when did you two get to know each other? Was it simply a like planes and I like planes? Well, we've actually known each other for a long, long time. Yeah, no, uh, it was in school. School, it yeah, yeah. definitely wasn't over planes, but... Um, no. What was that? It would have been grade 11, I think. Uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> James Martin won my previous jobs. I had the pleasure of preparing the helipads for Rescue 500 landings. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, Aviation Emily's here. Good afternoon, uh, Aviation Emily. Welcome. Cassie Stewart, I love the stream. Brisbane is beautiful. Appreciate that. Welcome again. I didn't even see that link. You missed the link, Sarb. Yeah, so one, of your, one of your favourites. <laughs> oh, you can just see the Emirates A380, which is parked uh, on the remote stand, just on the right-hand side. We might, if we're, long, if we're here long enough, we might see that move later on tonight. 
uh, not not take off, but we <laughs> might see it. <laughs> we might see it get moved to to Bay 75, uh, which is just in the centre of frame there. Yeah, Webbo has cooled down a bit, 28 degrees. It's actually feeling borderline, uh, I reckon by, you know, two, three hours time, it's going to be jumper weather. What do you think, Matt? A bit of a breeze, a bit of a... Quite pos I, oh, I think it's cooler than 28. It does feel cooler than 28. Yeah, it might easy. have dropped, it might have dropped a bit. Easy. Might, might have to update that, mate. It's always, it feels like it's always a bit cooler up here anyway, with the, that wind effect, but... Cow, the Emirates 380 flies over me at usually around uh, 9.33 p.m. But around about then. It's usually on time, the 380 departure, being that it sits here for 15 hours of the day. Gallia, grade 11, I saw only a few years ago then, surely I wish. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, 14 years now? More than a few, yeah, about 15. Uh, Emily's here from California, San Fran. Oh, yeah, we have hit the 400 likes, 403 now. So uh, thank you to all 403 of you that have hit the like button. It is very, very kind, and uh, it, it helps us a lot. So thank you. Exactly. The PS4 plays here as well. Welcome, mate. Oh, and actually, Pete was actually saying in the Discord last night that uh, Emirates, uh, the 380, had to return to the gate due to a disruptive passenger that had to be offloaded. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, therefore it didn't actually depart until about 20 past 10 last night. Oh, wow. Now, that would uh, be a nightmare, wouldn't it, for, yeah. the, uh, for, the, for the ground crew? Surprise offload. Happens pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty, pretty common, actually, with, with um, Emirates. Imagine getting on and being disrupted. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, the nerve. I see a lot of that on, online, though, a lot of those sort of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hayden, Melbourne Flights has gone and jumped in for another $5 super chat. Thank Brisbane. you, Hayden. Oh, champion. Melbourne Airport still has passenger aircraft departing and arriving well after midnight. All right, look, I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed spotting in Melbourne. Um, we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to tee it up a bit better next time, Hayden. Yeah, we'll, I uh, think we'll get you out there uh, as well. It was a good test to, uh, to do some, some testing of our basic light setup, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, and, consider, uh, yeah, we didn't actually think... We weren't 100% sure if we would actually end up making the stream. No, but, no. Um, no, I thoroughly enjoyed that. We'll do it again. You got you got a really good vantage point from the uh, from the car park there. Right, and thank you very much, mate, for dropping in that five. Very much appreciated. And uh, well, temperature is actually showing us twenty seven degrees now. Ten knot wind from uh, zero to zero degrees. Yes, oh, Pete saying twenty nine feels like thirty. Humidity fifty five percent. Is that towards the city, maybe? It's always a bit cooler out here at the airport, right next to the water, right next to the bay. David Cooper's here. Good afternoon all time to earn some dollars. Uh, catch you all next time. I'll oh, good on you, David. We'll talk to you soon, mate. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. The, uh, the Fokker 100 going full length. For departure here. Six seven zero five. The wind is zero one zero three one zero knots. Runway zero one right. This one. Um, although it sounds like there's a. Uh, Might just be able to see that. Is that turning into final? Maybe not. Oh yeah, it's just, just out of view there. Is it making the final turn? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The velocity uh, seven zero five. 73 from Hobart. You don't have current, so thanks for Bravo, uh, now available. The wind is 0, 1, 0 degrees at 1, 0 knots. Uh, weather showers in the area, information to get. Uh, taxiway Bravo now is now available, so uh, so the so the surface repairs have been completed. 
I imagine that will mean that we'll start to see more aircraft departing from Alpha 7 instead of going full length like the Fokker. Uh, Jack Stapleton, how many? How often do the Royal Flying Doctor Service go into Brute? Oh, many, many times a day, mate. Many times. Uh, there's actually one uh, taxiing out right now <laughs> yeah. for uh, departure, believe it or not. Uh, going uh, to zero one left. Up Yankee there. And uh, there is the next arrival, Virgin 705. From Hobart, down in Tasmania. And they're based over there, they're over in uh, the Yeah, there, there, there is a big Royal Flying Doctor Service base here at Brisbane. I've only been in the uh, the GA probably on two occasions. Um, it's actually a really nice spot to be um, with all the props there. I'd love to get the Mac right over there. It's quite a busy little hub too. <laughs> Terry, H hello, David. Goodbye, David. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Hayden, Melbourne has no curfew. Look. Well, neither do we. No, we don't either. Um, I think that would make for a busier day if you had it, though, wouldn't it? You know? Oh, Carolyn's saying uh, 18 degrees and raining here down in... Uh, she's obviously down there in, uh, down in Tassie. I couldn't live down there in Tasmania because I reckon during the winter it would just be <laughs> it'd be ridiculously cold. Oh, I'd love to go to Tassie. Never been. Coop's still uh, still out with a bit of a head cold. That's no good, mate. Chuck some uh, get some onions on your feet. It's not the old wives, uh, the old trick, is it? Uh, oh, mate, this uh, yeah. this fucker is rolling, and uh, he's going fast too. Uh, operating Virgin 1398 to Adelaide this afternoon. Fokker 100. How does that sound? Yeah. Oh, the Rolls Royce on the on the Fockers. And uh, <laughs> there was an arrival very sh uh, very close behind, which has actually already touched down a Jetstar 320. Uh, which Matt's flown past there. There it is. Uh, Jetstar 818, which has just arrived from Sydney on 01 rights. And as we follow that, uh, the groovy man's gone and dropped in a $20 super chat. Thank you, mate. <laughs> for coffee and snacks. You know what? I Fun for the team. Yeah, look, uh, two coffees That's are on the cards. Prompted that. I actually think you should go and grab them. Uh, what do you reckon? Why is that? <laughs> well, I don't know. You don't want to go? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. I'm getting a toasty, though. Yeah, that's fine. No, big thanks, Groovy Man. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's very, very kind of you to drop that in, mate. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Speaking of the uh, Royal Flying Doctor Service. The Beach King Air uh, heading to uh, not available. <laughs> not sure where it's going. No flight plan shown. Ah, very, very generous, Groovy Man. Thank you, mate. Uh, Cooper, Wednesday morning. 
Uh, Brisbane had 0-1 right for arrivals and 0-1 left for all departures. Do you have any uh, any clue why they might have done this? Well, potentially just some uh, some airspace requirements or uh, some uh, um, flight routes um, requirements for. Yeah, I, I mean I don't know the exact reason. I'm just speculating here. Um, yeah, not too sure, mate. Showers out there to the east as well. Sort of all around us at the moment. Uh, as you know, Cooper, typically uh, it's typically a simultaneous parallel to, um, operations here at Brisbane. And uh, at night, after about 10 o'clock, or we'll, we'll, we'll sometimes, as long as the wind is, uh, is calm enough, we'll sometimes see the simultaneous opposite direction operations we'll have the uh the arrivals coming in over the bay and uh and the departures also going out over the bay in the same direction or in opposite direction i guess thank you Uh, Terry's gone and dropped in with another five gifted memberships, mate. Oh, again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Aviation Emily, uh, Jada, Melbourne Flyer, and uh, Tanya, and Rohan Roy, all getting uh, all getting memberships there, courtesy of Terry. Thank you, mate. Very generous. And uh, the five new members will, will have access to the emojis in the chat straight away. And uh, you'll also get access to, uh, well, full access to the Discord channel, which we've been discussing a few times today. And uh, we'll, we'll be some uh, members-only streams from time to time. There, is, there was a night stream not too long ago, and there'll be another one very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Catherine, uh, Graham, great stuff. Thank you, Catherine. Welcome. Little uh, Aero Commander there. It's going to be heading out to Oakley from uh, zero one left. Emery, some people want a curfew. I guess if we had a curfew, that would mean we'd get a get all the <laughs> yeah get everything a bit more condensed, packed in, in the into the into the daytime. Well, into the into, you know before eleven p.m. or whenever it might be. Look, you'd think by the same token, having no curfew would be more attractive to carriers too. But yeah, um, exactly. I can't imagine having a curfew is very attractive to uh, to potential airlines come or wanting to come to Brisbane. Uh, I imagine it would be very off-putting the, the, the potential for big fines uh, if they're if they're late. Yes, uh, Catherine and Graham, uh, welcome, mates. Yeah, I just said hello to Catherine. Hi, oh, did you? Yes. yes. Um, in the, uh, <laughs> might need that coffee after. All. Do you want one? I do. I'd love one. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love a coffee. Flat white, yeah. Flat white. No sugar. Actually, you know what? Let's let's sh uh, shake it up a bit. We'll go caramel latte. Oh, yeah. I haven't had one for a while. Yeah. I know they're a bit like that, but it, it masks a bad coffee, and they're never that good down there. How about the uh, the retro, mate? It's just pushed back. Oh yeah, it's uh, sitting pretty in front of us here. The retro fifty nine livery Quanta seven three. Thank you, Mike. Tango ten line up. Which is going to be operating uh, Quanta five forty one to Sydney. DJ, if you're at the loop, the little terminal at GA is the nearest toilet. I didn't realise you could go in there. Well, that's good to know. There we go, the uh, Qantas Retro taxiing now. Is Matt going to catch that? Yeah, that Virgin? <laughs> Virgin 336 uh, departing in the background there, off to Melbourne. Not today. Oh, 
Emery boys and Storm might have uh, formed to the north of you. I've been watching the, uh, I've been watching the radar, and there is there's actually quite a, a, quite a heavy looking bit of uh, rain just to the west as well, uh, which might be what we're looking at to our left just there. Yeah, yeah, it looks a bit ominous over there. So uh, look, hopefully we don't get affected. I, I don't mind if it rains as long as it doesn't blow in here. And, Actually, and you know what? With the wind direction today, we might be okay. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it over there. No, you can't. Uh, not with the angle. It's somewhere, it's somewhere over there. Yeah. Uh, Retro's going 0-1 right for departure. But there's going to be a Virgin 7-3 uh, out first. Uh, Tina York's here. Hello, Tina. Welcome to Brisbane. Uh, good morning from a rather windy UK, yeah. <laughs> is that, is that uh, unusual, though? <laughs> so that's Virgin 962 holding short. I don't, I don't think Virgin 962 is actually called ready on tower yet. So we listen to two tower frequencies here at Brisbane. Uh, one for each runway. The two parallel runways are separated by about two kilometres, uh, which is big. It's a, it's a big separation. It's bigger than Heathrow, in fact, over in London. I might do that, eh, the coffee room. Yeah. On a toasty or anything? Oh. Uh, they're not great. No? No, but, you know, <laughs> for a hungry stomach, they're pretty good. Okay, yeah, go on. Why not? Why not? I'll, I might I'll try have, the place inside. I'll yeah. have what you'll have. You'll have what I'm having. <laughs> Except for the ghastly caramel latte. <laughs> Apex Turtle celebrating two months in the lounge. Good on you, Apex Turtle. I saw you I saw you made your way, so made your way into the, um, the Discord last night, which is great. So, uh uh, great to have you on board, and, and thank you for the two months of support, mate. And there we go. There's Velocity 962 calling ready. And, uh, and lining up might be clear for takeoff already, actually. The uh, 7 3 heading to Sydney. Just over an hour flight time. John. <laughs> John's gone and put another five new members up into the lounge. Good on you, mate. I think that's his second lot today. Thank you. That's very, very kind, John. Uh, Michelle Jackson, B. Kane, Gaz Marshall, Debbie Ann and Andy all getting uh, memberships to, uh, to the channel there, courtesy of John. Uh, down in Melbourne. Very kindly uh, looked after us uh, during our trip. 
uh, down to Melbourne a few weeks ago when we were out spotting at the at Melbourne Airport. There goes the Retro Roo, Retro 59, operating Qantas 541 to Sydney. And some uh, some ominous looking cloud actually in the background. There is some rain uh, possibly about to roll through in the not too, too distant future. I think it's coming from the other direction though. But the storms are definitely building up fast. Yeah, thanks again, John, mate. That is very, very kind of you to do that. And we got the Link Airways Metro liner rolling. The Metro heading down to Armadale in New South Wales. Uh, quite a short spacing there. Virgin 7.3 just touching down. Virgin 331 from Melbourne. Onto zero one right. Yeah, Brisney triple seven. That from a distance, the seven three uh, eight winglets don't look that big until you realise how big Carol they are when you're one. under uh, or close to them. Yeah, no, right. It's. Uh, I mean, look, they're, they're taller than a, the, the typical person, aren't they? They're, they're huge, <laughs> uh, much taller, in fact. Well, those spires, the uh, retro, yeah. We, uh, it's a personal favourite, the 59 retro on the Qantas. Uh, we do get the, uh, the standard retro as well, which is 80s based, I believe, or 70s. Uh, but the 59, definitely a favourite. Uh, Boise, beautiful here in Norwich, not a cloud in sight. Well, that is a rare, <laughs> a rare thing to say about Norwich, surely. Before I forget, let's go have another look at that KC, which is parked outside of uh, Northrop. One of seven Royal Australian Air Force KC-30s 
in the fleet. And they're actually all based about 30 nautical miles from here at Amberley, RAAF Amberley. Uh, this specific one here, Alpha 39007, is, uh, is actually the PM's VIP transporter uh, that's regularly used for, uh, for overseas trips. Uh, it's actually been in Brisbane for about six to seven weeks now for some heavy maintenance. I'm guessing a, a D-check maybe. Uh, 22nd of February, I believe it arrived. But you'll, uh, you'll see that one pop up around the world during uh, world events and, and the likes. Run my inspection. On zero one right. Just a motor seat bridge tow, they continue approach me on the runway, average inspection. Some of that range is to the north uh, building. James, which airport is bigger, Sydney or Brisbane by land area? Well, Brisbane is actually Come slightly on. bigger, I believe, uh, by by actual uh, uh, land area. Uh, it's it's not a lot between them, but um, yes, it is bigger here in Brisbane. Rigoberto, time to go to sleep. Good on you, mate. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll see you in the next one. Landis is here. Hello, mates. Loves the retro. Randall M. Hello, mate. Welcome. Uh, Henry reckons in about 15 minutes, James, we're going to get some very, very heavy rain. Well, look, I've been uh, closely following that radar, and I'm watching a big cell that's uh, appeared out of nowhere to, uh, to directly to the west of the field, uh, or the, the, the northwest, I should say. Um, that, yeah, is, is picking up fast. It's starting to look pretty nasty, actually. Hopefully we'll be, uh, hopefully we'll be safe. Because we want to stick around. We want to be here till, uh, till sunset. Next arrival, though, Jetstar 568 from Melbourne. A 320. Jennifer Moles, good afternoon, Jennifer. Welcome. Uh, working on it, good afternoon. Jetstar 149 just cleared for takeoff on zero one right. That's the 321 in the new livery, which is off to Auckland, uh, going full length.
Heading over to NZ. There it is. Oh, Brad, 1,000 flight level will be lurking, guys. Loving the stream. Cooking a pork belly. <laughs> Stop it. Ah, oh, that sounds beautiful, mate. Enjoy. Uh, Terry, it's coming from the northwest, James. Should be okay if the wind doesn't start whipping in. Well, that's that's the only problem we have, isn't it? The wind. Um, we, we've been here in heavy, heavy rain before. Uh, but it's it's the wind uh, that creates a problem. We're, we're about, I don't know, three, four metres behind the, the roof line. Uh, before the Qantas 73 departs here, there's one coming in. There it is, another Qantas 73. Uh, Qantas 528 from Sydney. Corner 621 lining up behind. Uh, Alpha 7. Lakel, hey guys. I uh, hope you're doing well. Just wondering how I joined the Discord. Well, there is a... Uh, you, you actually need to... Um, to connect your YouTube account to your Discord account. Uh, you, what, the way you do that is by going into settings. On Discord. And then, uh, and then going into connections, add your YouTube account, log in, and then you should see the Only Planes Network server available to join. Uh, Connor 631 rolling, this one's heading to Melbourne. Well, 22 runway 
Next one's already cleared to depart. On the same runway. Virgin. 12.22. Heading to Canberra, the nation's capital. See the rain there, just to the uh, to the northeast. There's, uh, there's pretty much rain in every direction, except the uh, except the southeast right now. Connors Link and Breyer next. Uh, Connors 1924 from Hobart down in Tasmania. Looks like even some rain there at the southern end of the field. So uh, potentially approaching fast. Yeah, OPN bot. <laughs> OPN bot's dead for the rest of the stream. Um, I, I had to, uh, well, I didn't have to shut him off. He, he's, uh, he, yeah, he's, he's got problems. It's not his fault though, it was my fault. Ah, Pete, plane spotting with uh, Pompers and Marks here. Hello, Pete. How was that air show down there? It looked like a lot of fun. I saw your little uh, mobile phone stream earlier on today. How cool was that? <laughs> Stuff. I've gone and flown past now for seven. Uh, there it is. I'm looking for the uh, the link. Sorry, the Rex Saab. Which is departing out to Roma. That rain's getting a bit closer. Oh, here he is. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were just talking about that. There's, there's rain in like nearly every direction mm. um, surrounding us. And, and, and the rain to the northwest looks quite heavy. Uh, ben, good afternoon, mate. Took my family to the lookout zone today. First time being there was awesome. Seeing China Airlines uh, to Auckland take off, of course. Yes, the uh, China Airlines 359er, which, uh, which actually comes into Brisbane twice a day. So you were down here, down at the, the, the lookout loop. Which is... Um, which is about 1.5 kilometres from us in a straight line uh, here. It is starting to get dark, isn't it? With the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> There's Connor 620, the 7.3 coming in from Melbourne. Heaps of 7.3s right now. 
you'd think that was all we had. Uh, Mac to start getting late here in uh, Las Vegas, 11.25 p.m. Good night all and thanks for a great stream. Thank you, mate, and uh, yeah, we hope to catch you in the next one. Yeah, Ben, the 350, uh, the 359er is, is just a fantastic aircraft. Uh, one that the Dreamliner really can't compete with even. Uh, even though I'm a big Dreamliner fan. Matt's uh, munching away on his toasty. Yeah, sorry about that. Talk about inflation, eh? Yeah. The one lonely piece of ham. <laughs> <laughs> There's tomato in there somewhere too. Oh, there we go. Uh, Pete saying uh, 23, more, 23 more subs required for uh, 8,000. They're 21 now. How about that? Oh, that's pretty cool. We're that's getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> I um, jumped up a bit on my coffee bag. Yeah, 472 likes as well, which is uh, fantastic. So thank you to uh, the 472 people that have hit the like button. That is just uh, that's great support. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please, please do hit it. But, uh, it helps us a lot with the old YouTube algorithm in, in some way or another. <laughs> Jackie, have you ever done a Tim Tam slam before? This is what I was on about with James uh, last week. We were discussing this. He's never done it. Uh, I was going to try it the other day with my double chocolate coated ones, but they seemed a bit too thick. I don't think it's possible. What do you mean thick? They were too big for the Tim Tams I had the other day. You don't know how the Tim Tam slam works, do you? It's not the one where you drink a coffee with it. Is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, drink, yeah. You bite, you bite the corner. Oh, the corner's off, yeah. Yeah, and then you pull it through. I've, ne I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Oh, it's incredible. Mate. <laughs> um, Jennifer saying it's uh, just started raining in Caloundra. I think I think southeast Queensland, is the, the, the storms are just starting to pop up on the radar uh, all around the place. Look at the, uh, the fire engines out there. Fire truck. Bit of movement. Bit of action. I think they're just bored. Probably. I, I don't know. There's the, uh, the the fire station, I guess you could call it, in the middle of the field. Around halfway between yeah, both runways here, both active runways. Yeah, I'm with you, Terry. I don't mind the toasty. Um, definitely had better, but it does the job. Oh, Chase is here. G'day, Chase. Sorry, I missed that. There we go. Next touchdown. Uh, well, it's just touchdown. Virgin 951 from Sydney. Zero on right. Uh, Lake is here. G'day, Lake. I don't know how uh, I connect to my YouTube to Discord. When I try it, it shows a text saying, failed to connect to YouTube to Discord. I don't know. I've seen that one yet. Send us a screenshot, mate, on, uh, on Instagram or Facebook or whichever one you're on. I say Discord, but I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, or, or an email. Even email us and we'll give you a hand, mate. Uh, the email's in the, uh, in the channel page. Uh, Canals here. G'day, mate. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Uh, Terry, has James... Uh, have you got your coffee, James? Mate, I do. It's in front of me here, but... Mm, it's, it's not... Um, it's nothing... Yeah, it's not great. The coffee. Mm. Well, there you go. That's why I got a caramel latte because the caramel, it um, it masks a bad coffee. You see? I mean, I just deal with the bad coffee. It's not. <laughs> it's not a terrible coffee. But Terry saying that we'll do a Tim Tam slam on stream next week. I'll bring the Tim Tams. You get the coffee, uh, <laughs> mate. That sounds good. Of course, you're going to be it's, up here. Yeah, I mean, it can be a bit messy though. That's the only thing. So you know, get some uh, get some wet wipes. Well, we'll um, yeah, we'll plan we'll plan to do a live Tim Tam slam next week. Then, by the sounds of it, I don't reckon you'll like it. Oh, no, surely. Maybe it's a bit too different for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Darb's here. 
<laughs> can't be uh, can't be in the chat. Sorry, uh, bottle and chili flakes, mate. We, we chatted enough last night. Don't you worry. <laughs> How about that? He sent some pics of his chili flakes. Oh, really? In the chat last night. And I'm sure there'll be uh, more chatter going on later, later tonight. But um, good on you, mate. Three months in the lounge. Yeah, appreciate it, mate. Yeah, good on you. Thank you for your ongoing support. Mate, it does mean a lot, mate. I know if I was bottling uh, chili flakes, I'd, I'd like to... Uh, I couldn't think of anything better to do as well. So I appreciate <laughs> it, mate. Thanks for tuning in. It is a bit dark, isn't it? I think we're going to get rained on very oh, yeah. soon with some heavy rain. Uh, stormy stream. So it, it, it is. It is getting a bit stormy around the place. Um, there is definitely water directly west. Yeah, like literally within two or three kilometres uh -huh. uh, from us. So that's going to be fun. A mm, bit of water about. Uh, Blue Universe, good night, mates, from uh, Nevada. Bedtime here. Oh, good on you, Blue Universe. Thank you for tuning in and, and spending your, your night with us. All right, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Mate. We'll, oh, yeah, we'll catch you very soon. Pete's working for the next four weekends. Won't be online till around 4 p.m. Oh, that's all right, mate. Lake all 16 more subs. Yes, and one more like till 500. How about that? Carolyn reckons 500 now. <laughs> it probably went backwards. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, there, no, there it is. Look, 500. Top stuff. Love that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the 500. If you hit the like button. It's, um, it really does help us. It means a lot to, uh, to grow the channel. Bad GM, hello all. Happy Sunday. Sunny down here at the Gold Coast at the moment. Oh, ripper. Where's Brian? Do you reckon he's out on the... Uh, <laughs> kite right, surfing, kite probably. Kite surfing. I was about to say that. You reckon he's out kite surfing? Yeah, probably. He, he, uh, he, never, he never misses a good opportunity to be out on the boat or, or kite surfing. Props to him, though. He keeps fit. I've always wanted to try it, but yeah, I'm also not a very good swimmer, so. Really? Yeah, I'm not a very good swimmer. Uh, you can change that, though. So uh, this Corner 73 is going all the way down to the domestic, sorry, the uh, international terminal. Uh, that's why it's such a long taxi from... Zero one left where it just arrived. It's coming from Port Moresby. Chilling five twenty nine dollar wind zero three zero degrees eight knots from my zero one left to clear the land. Um, I might get I might get camera. To, uh, I might get I was about to say I might get camera. I might get Matt to take the camera for a, a few minutes while I uh, do devour my coffee. <laughs> How's that? No, I like that. I like your adjectives there. Very descriptive. All right, Matty on the uh, on the old joystick. Matty's back on the camera, so um, cheer him on. <laughs> How's your coffee? Very, very average. <laughs> Now that one's in from uh, from Matt's uh, well, virtually hometown now. <laughs> oh, is this old Hamilton Island? Old Hamilton Island, yeah. Oh, the Embraer, 1921, Conislink 1921. I'd live there if I could afford it. Holy dooly! Yeah. I'd probably get you'd probably get tired of it. I don't know. Yeah, and in fact, Hamilton Island is actually for sale. The, the whole island is mm. is currently for sale for the, for the low low price of one billion dollars. One, one, one billion Australian dollars mm. uh, buys you buys you an island, uh, quite a beautiful island up mm. on the Whit Sundays. One billion dollar goose. Yeah. 
One billion Kevin 07 flat screen dollars. <laughs> so uh, maybe maybe we can all chip in and uh, get Only Planes Network. Uh. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know the current owner has a... Do they have a global? Is it a global that they've got, or is it a uh, Embraer Phantom? I think they have a couple, don't they? Got the, a, few, uh, um, a few private the jets. O is it the Oatleys? The Oatley family? We actually did a, a stream. Oh. Information leave now. Current changes. Wind 0, 2, 0 degrees, 8 knots. Temperature 2, 5. Information leave. Temperature now 2, 5 degrees. That has dropped a little bit. Uh, sorry, what was I saying? Uh, the stream. Yeah, we did a we did a stream uh, when you were up there at Hamilton Island. Yeah. I was streaming from here in Brisbane. Matt was uh, sending us a remote feed from Hamilton Island. Which it actually was, worked really well. It did work well. We can't wait to do it all again. And, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Could uh, could be very soon. Uh, Tezza will do the slam then, as long as Manny doesn't eat all the Tim Tams. Uh, I don't think he will. Uh, he won't do that. Well, he, yeah. Look, uh, mate, you'll have to take him off him. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, that rain is getting close, mate. I wish we could show yeah. it on the camera, but it's coming from uh, the other direction. I'm going to duck on the pond. Uh, zero one left. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. That's just arrived from Proserpine, up actually very close to Hamilton Island. Yeah, look at that. Another um, lovely part of Australia there. Uh, on, well, it's just on the mainland. Yeah. Uh, inland from uh, from Hamilton. Oh, that's right. John's saying uh, Brian was cleaning up for when for when Kev comes. That's right. He did say that. Oh yeah. He's not, he's not out. Not out on the water today. No, I bet he'd like to be there. Uh, Pete said he's going to do have to do the Toon Tam Slam while doing a little dance. Mate, I'm going <laughs> to hold you to that. I want to see it on the next stream. Down there in the Radelaide. Um, and, and if anyone's going to do it, it's Pete. <laughs> That's my coffee there, by the way. Which one? Yeah. Did I drink that one? I didn't drink yours, did I? I don't, I don't know. It's no, just I reminding me. I didn't touch it. Is it busy with an arm breath? Yes. I'm going to put it there for a little bit. Okay. Let's put it there for a little bit. Appreciate it. Uh, so Terry saying the uh, Qatari triple only eight minutes out lining up for finals and zero one right now. Oh well, perfect Crikey. zero one zero zero one right. And I'm, prob I'm probably behind as well. So uh, so the Qatari triple seven uh, not far away. And yeah, it is it is on final. Um, just uh, sort of having a look here. Uh, it's over Forest Lake at the moment. So probably about three or four minutes. Tezza Coffee Club Virgin side is a bit subpar. Yeah, I mean, it's the only one at the moment. Well, that's just what we've ended up with. Maybe we need to join the Virgin Lounge. Of course, that doesn't help us that you have to go through security, but, you know. Probably need a ticket to get in as well. Not if you join the Virgin Lounge. You've got to pay. You don't need a plane ticket? No. Oh, right. You can get in on on uh, if you have a, a like a business ticket, of course, or if you have uh, if you're a Virgin, is it Virgin Lounge member? Or... Right. Some scrunching in the background here. Oh, a little bit of <laughs> toasty ASMR. For yeah, you. yeah, that's right. Here we go. Uh, the Qantas and Cabrera. Qantas 1937 heading to Adelaide. Zero one right. Coming your way, Pete. Throwing in a couple of Tim Tams in the, uh, in the hole for you there, mate. Half eaten pack, pack of course. Um, it is getting very dark, actually. Might need to make some adjustments on the camera. But uh, if it keeps it, keeps it up. Viper says it's pouring in Chermside. Qantas 
GIRS is here. G'day, mates. Yes, I saw the Hamilton Island Brizzy stream. I thoroughly enjoyed that, uh, and I think um, I think it made a, a lot of people realise, um, I guess, how the map cam works. I think uh, I think people tune in yeah, sometimes. They, they do see the the, the multi cam and go, oh, you know, that's pretty cool, without realising um, just how versatile or, or, or difficult a system like that is to implement. Um, but we had a ball. So, um, yeah, something we definitely want to do again. I've been making a lot of improvements to that since um, Well, it's since better then. since then, isn't it? It is. Know, much um, lower latency as well. Yes. We, we are, well, I really enjoyed um, setting it up. So um, can't wait to uh, see what we can do with that in the future. Oh, there you go. Brian is in the chat. Here listening, uh, not enough wind lately. That's why I'm catching up with tidying up the yard for the uh, legendary Kevin Wellington Flights Live arrival, of course. Why are you here, mate? Are we still doing this little boat trip? Yeah, of course. Surely. <laughs> when uh, when Kevin comes over, of course. Oh, and hello, lads. Hello, mates. Great, Great to have you here. What's going on with the white balance? Does it look a bit off to you? I know the cloud cover's probably good. No, I think it's, uh, it's on full auto, mate. So, uh, <laughs> unless Sony reckons it's off. Yeah, on the screen, it looks a bit off to me anyway, but uh, we'll persist. Now, I believe the Qatari triple has just been cleared to land on 01 right. Oh, yeah. Should be coming into view very shortly. Thirteen hours and three minute flight time from that uh, from Doha. Look at that dropping into view. Tesla, you can get a year membership in the Virgin Lounge. I think it's like four hundred bucks a year. I think or something, isn't it? I thought you have to be flying to use it though. You can't just turn up. No, you can turn up. Right. You just scan your. your um, or whatever it is. The yeah, thing I thought you phone. had to have a ticket on you. I thought you had to be flying that day, sort of thing. I didn't no. think you just turn up. No, you just turn up. I could be wrong. Here we go. Qatari Triple. Qatari 898 from, uh, from Doha. Zero one right. You can take a guest in with you if you want. They do pretty good coffee there. <laughs> oh, look, it's going long. Going long. He's in no rush to slow down. Uh, it'd be a nice time to be down at the loop, actually, wouldn't it? Exiting at uh, Alpha 3. Terry, heavy rain just over Boondle now, heading straight to you. Hopefully not windy. Uh, there's no wind at the moment, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking to my left. I wish I could show it on camera. The camera won't pick it up. Uh, and yeah, it looks pretty, pretty dire. Only a couple of kilometers from here. I'll, I'll have to get the old trusty OPM umbrella out. <laughs> see <laughs> that half broken one. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what I can save. Uh, Josh Aldrich is here. Welcome back, mate. And we're saying got shots of guitar. We'll post tonight in the Discord. Go for gold, mate. Didn't realise you were out here. Gino Finelli's here. Hello, mates. Welcome. Made it just in time for the uh, Qatari. 
<laughs> uh, Pete, is my McDonald's coming in on this flight? <laughs> Oh, Brian's going to Fiji on holiday this year as well. <laughs> Mate, how many holidays are you going on? Ah, there we go. Terry saying uh, people with a boarding pass will always get priority on a busy day. But yes, you can just rock up as a member of the lounge. Well, there you go. I didn't know that. Yeah, I told you. I've been in there. Well, maybe maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe you can become a member and go and get our coffees. It's 400 bucks a year. That's what I'm told. Oh, right. Yeah, around there. Something like well, that. do the calculations. How many coffees is that? Uh, I did do the calculations. And so uh, you pretty much needed to go once a week to get your toasty. And your coffee. Oh, is that all? You get a toasty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, um, you got to go through security. You do, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, when I was flying fly out, it made sense. Because, yeah. you know, you, you grab two toasties and two Can coffees. you walk it back out? Yeah, yeah. 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 You get it to go. Yeah, right. Yeah. No questions asked. Casey and Tolson are here. Good, uh, good afternoon, Casey and Tolson. Although the Qantas Lounge is probably a bit better. You get the view of the airport now quite like it in there too. Uh, Lake will send an email. Oh, we'll have a look after the stream, mate. Uh, we'll talk to you later on tonight. Jack's asking what equipment do you use? Honestly, that is a very <laughs> long list. That's um, a very open-ended question, mate. I wish I could answer that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, it, if you saw what... How, how it looked right now, you'd understand. But yeah, I think <laughs> I, we'll probably do a behind the, the scenes video or something one day because uh, the amount of equipment uh, on this side of the camera is uh, is insane. Um, yeah, it's very hard to uh, kind of explain it. It's something we're definitely doing in the near future. Ah, oh, Brisney Triple Sevens back. Good on you, mate. Uh, we're here for the Qatar. Refuel in 1972. Uh, coffee had better be pretty schmick for $400. Yeah, yeah well, see, all, all, a year's worth. A year's <laughs> worth. All get 400 really average coffees. Um, but no, actually, I, in my experience, the coffee's pretty good there. Oh, how about that? Terry. Terry saying uh, members can use the priority screening area to enter the Virgin Mounts from street level. Oh, of course. Around the, the far side of the... Uh, down the very end. I think they're doing works down there at the moment, so I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't think you could get access to it. Um, a good point, though. And same for Qantas on the opposite end. Um, if you're a lounge member, you get, uh, you get the priority screening down there, too. Uh, John Vogel, four more, f three more subs. Look at that, 7997. <laughs> three subs to go till 8,000. How about that? And 537 likes now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to the 537 of you. Uh, that really, really helps us, and it means a lot. Thank you. You don't reckon that looks a bit green around the gills? Look a little bit tingy. Oh, it looks okay to me. I'll have a look later. Color. You can't look. You can't really look at the screen and uh, and judge mm. it too much. I reckon that looks a little, little greeny to me. Uh, G Nagy, uh, hello from uh, Hungary. Hello, mates. Speaking of hungry, did you finish your... Uh, Not yet, no. Uh, no. We're expecting the uh, Qantas 330 very shortly. Actually, I think it's coming in now. Is that it? It is. Is it? Yeah. Qantas 126. The uh, 330 200, uh, 330 300, I should say. Coming in from Auckland on 01 right. There she is. How about that? You got the Qatari triple in the I same know. shot. How cool is that? We'll keep him in shot for a little bit. It's usually a 200 operating this route. Love that. Some pretty cool colours going on at the moment. This weird weather we got.
Pete, I would join the Virgin Lounge just to get access to the pancake maker. I didn't realise they did pancakes in there. Probably would have joined again long ago. Spad GM saying the wiper was on. Is the, is the windscreen wiper on? Can you see it? Still, it's off now, obviously. Uh, Brisley triple seven. That uh, the three thirty three hundred. Still got the old livery, of course. Yes, it's got the uh, the kangaroo. It's, it's got the paws. Look at that light. It's almost like a, it almost looks like an artificial light on the tail. Yeah. Yeah. That rain is rolling in quick. <laughs> It's kind of like wrapped around almost. A little of, uh, dome of uh, silence. Pretty much, yeah. It's like a little bit of a dome. <laughs> Brian's saying, uh, the wife booked the Fiji holiday without asking me. Just do what I'm told. That's a shame, oh, isn't it, mate? That's it such is, a shame. It is a bit of a shame. Oh, don't you hate that? Now you got to go on a holiday and, you know. Spend a, a week or two in Fiji. Yeah, <laughs> God. Oh, I feel for you, mate. I really do. As I say, I sure do the pancakes, uh, and they're divine. I'll have to do that. Uh, Ashley, uh, the uh, the old livery is still the best depiction of of the kangaroo. Absolutely, yeah. The little T Rex arms. Um. The John Vogel Sound Corners Club has the uh, pancake machine as well. I had no idea. Um. Is that runway now wet? So that rain is, uh, is rolling in now. Gio Yaris Hot Vipers prefers the old, uh, the old livery. I do too. Look at the 330 down there and then before we lose sight. You can see the, uh, see the rain over the field there now to the south. So it's quite literally uh, all around us now. Um,
uh, Mod Soli, I hope I said that right, hello, uh, in Sydney. Welcome, mates. Thanks for joining. Kath Media's off, no worries. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one, Kath. I uh, hope you're getting better. Lee's back. Welcome back, mate. Just in time for 8K Sunday. Where are we? Not, not far off. 7997. 7998. There you go. Look, rolling over. Slowly but surely. You watch it. It'll, it'll go down now. <laughs> Ashley, uh, the new logo is more for the, uh, the slimline corporate look, yes. Everything seems to be uh, simplifying its, uh, its image a little bit, aren't they? talk over that but uh, version 342 off there uh, off to Melbourne definitely getting some strange lighting with uh, with the cloud cover I don't know if that's uh, if it's in poor taste or not but it looks like it on my screen hopefully it's not too bad on the uh, on the tellies and the computer screens at home. Steve Payne jumping in with a cheeky super chat. Thanks for another great show, guys. Appreciate that, Steve. Thank you very much. Um, no, big thank you to you, Steve. Uh, appreciate you joining us. We love being out here. Even uh, we've got our coffees in hand, so uh, yeah, wouldn't have it any other way. Fingers crossed, the uh, the weather treats us nicely. Dashy on uh, Zulu there. Where are you? Tell you what, you can't step away from this uh, this camera system for too long. You forget how to drive it, so that's that's where the poor panning comes from. Um, so apologies in advance. Oh, Pete's got a video of the uh, the pancake maker in the old uh, the old Virgin Lounge. Yeah, pancakes. Pancakes, I have to say, is an easy sell for me, mate. Rocky 1246 wins, 330 degrees, 5 knots from way zero one left, clear for land. Oh, Kel's here. G'day, Kel. Be home soon. <laughs> oh, how's about that? We're at the AK there. Look at that. 801. Big thank you to uh, to all our new uh, subscribers, um, of course our existing subscribers, but um, anyone who's joined us today. Um, and right on cue, the rain is uh, is now starting to hit us uh, 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 overhead. So um, yeah, big thank you to our new our new subscribers. Um, and on that note, I suppose if uh, if there is anyone who's watching or has joined us and um, hasn't subscribed, definitely consider doing so. We're out here once or twice a week. Um, 
Wonder if, is that rain coming through? I might have to move the mic, but we'll see how we go. Now, big thanks again, Steve. Uh, Craig Murray as well. Jumping in with a cheeky 767. I'll see what you did there. A uh, couple of quid for the post stream with Flurry Run. Big stream as always. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, always, always looking after us. Yeah, I reckon uh, Pompus, if, uh, if you've still got the Virgin Lounge membership, uh, I might jump in with you when we get into Sydney. What do you reckon? <laughs> you're allowed, I think you're allowed, to, you're allowed to bring in one person. Maybe we'll go halves on an entry. Get some pancakes and load up. No, a ripper effort today. Uh, Eight thousand subs, which is uh, which is just the number that. Um, I mean, we still don't really believe it. Quite quite frankly, we've uh, we, we've approached that pretty quickly. Um, near in that 600 like mark for the stream as well, so... Uh, that, that rain is about to get a lot heavier, I think. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it to the north, mate. <clears throat> yeah, the visibility is reduced to, like, nothing over the other side. Not, not on the field, but just to the north of it. Craig Murray, thank you, mate. That is very kind. Dropping in the 767 Super Chat. Yeah, see what we did there? I yeah. do, and... Uh, Mate, so, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, we're not going to see the 767 for much longer, are we? Oh, I appreciate that, Craig. Uh, Mega grateful for the time uh, OPM put in the off-camera to bring these shows uh, to us. Um, yeah, plenty, plenty more work to come. I think uh, we're going to be pretty busy in the next month or so trying to implement some, some little. Yeah, yeah, there should be cushy some, um, changes. So um, no, big thanks, mate. We appreciate it. Um, oh, we have... make no mistake, we enjoy it though. We, we, we've hit 8k, mate. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I was just. Oh yeah. right. <laughs> I was thinking everything 8, before you rudely interrupted. 8,000 subscribers. How about that? 8,002. <laughs> Kel says everyone subscribe. Kel's on to it. Thank you, everyone. That is just incredible. And, and look, welcome to all the new subscribers today. Uh, I know there's been, a, there's been quite a few, so um, thanks for joining us. 584 likes, so uh, definitely mash that like button if you haven't already. Let's see if we can uh, love tap that 600 mark. Virgin 970 heading off there, the 73 to Sydney. Appreciate that, Hayden. Thanks, mate. 970, contact today. Carolyn. Yeah, all our mods, actually, yeah. Oh, no, a big Thanks, shout-out to the mods because uh, they, they do such an incredible job behind the scenes as well um, to, uh, to keep everything tidy. And, uh, yeah, we can't thank them enough. How quickly that's going out of uh, uh, straight in, and and there is some rain blowing in now, Matt. Mm -hmm. if, can you feel that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, it feels quite refreshing actually. Maybe not for the electronics below us, but. <laughs> Going to be a rainy end to the stream. Yeah, hopefully nothing goes black, but um, yeah, we'll roll with it. <laughs> Uh, Lee saying, congrats, fellas. There should be an extra zero on that, but uh, you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, look, you never know. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Very, very kind of you to say that. Very wet out there now. Look. Quite literally a duck on the pond out there. It's very wet. Um, yeah, it's sort of... Um, it's really weird because uh, it's not raining too much where we are right now. No, no, that's what I was saying before. It's but all around us. Just a couple of hundred metres uh, either side of us.
Mrs. Professor. Appreciate that. Thanks for thanks for joining. Out. You'll get ten k before you know it. Wouldn't that be uh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Matt's uh, one-handed on the camera right now. Yeah, bad <laughs> idea, I know. Uh, you got this um, Connor's dash, eh? Is that on startup there? Or is it just... No, it's shut off. It's just turned off. Uh, the, the lights are flashing down on the, the ground. What does that mean? Oh, uh, is it the white light? Yeah. Ooh. Does that mean lightning within... 10 nautical miles. 10 nautical miles? So uh, it's a warning, obviously. And they'll Stand go... by, basically. They'll go... That's actually a better one if you go just to the right, because you can see two of them um, flashing away from the aircraft just here. Yep, so we're on a white light. So uh, if we go blue, then that's a, a basically a ground stop. A ground stop. Yeah, so that'll be within five nautical miles. Ooh, fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what an end. And um, oh, Hayden, Hayden, done it again. He's gone and dropped in a five dollar super chat. Thank you, Hayden. Uh, congratulations, James and Maddie, on eight k subscribers uh, from the OPN mods members and viewers. I oh, will very, very kind of you, mate, um, to, to to drop another one in today. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. And, um, and look, thank you, thank you so much for your help. One of one of the fantastic mods. We're gonna do a meetup one day, and I'm gonna give the mods a big bear hug. <laughs> There goes the uh, Connors Link Dash 8. Uh, Connors Link 410, which is off to Emerald from 01 right. This weather's so weird. It's, um, there's this rain to the north that looks like it's coming our way, but it's just kind of sitting there. It, it was moving very slowly uh, on that side of the, yeah. you know, the field, though. What? Uh, Virgin 54 coming in, zero one right next. The uh, seven three from Port Villa. And Cooper, Cooper's gone and dropped in the eight. Good stuff, reaching the 8K. A big 10,000 isn't too far off now. Great community that's been built here. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Uh, we couldn't have done it without everyone's help and support. So, um, appreciate, so uh, appreciate you being a part of it too, Cooper. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Cooper, another one of the mods. Um, he's, uh, he's pretty much flat out, out here doing his own spotting, um, as well as joining us on, on streams from time to time. Uh, well, I'm Mike, I should say. But yeah, but yeah, appreciate it, mate. Thank you, Cooper, for, for dropping in the eight, mate. Oh, I see what he's done there with the cheeky eight. The eight. The eight <laughs> <K>. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I see that. I see that. Oh, yeah, we've got the windshield wipers going. Ah, uh, the wipers are on, of course. <laughs> I was, I was watching uh, SDTV uh, a couple of weeks ago when Dad was uh, departing. He was flying the, uh, the, the Dreamliner. And um, do you mind? I'm trying to Sorry. talk. Sorry. <laughs> and um, I, I know the, uh, the, the, the first officer had his on, but Dad doesn't tend to use his. He just uh, lets the wind blow the rain off the screen. Yeah, right. He's old school, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, no wiper. Raw. I can respect that. man that doesn't use a wiper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just find them quite comical because, you know, relative to the plane, they're just so tiny. Yeah. Oh, Doug Hewson uh, celebrating three months in the lounge. Congratulations. Uh, 8,000. Here's to many, many more. Thank you, mate. Appreciate uh, that, it's been It's been great to have your company for that, for that time as well, mate. So um, thank you. Thank you for your support. Brisbane triple seven. You guys need a locker there with umbrellas and security. That's not a bad idea, you know. <laughs> a little chest. Yeah, a little lock up. What have we got here? 
snuck up on me. Jetstar 823 heading to Sydney. Just drying off the runway. Uh, Beck's back already. That was a quick drive. Uh, congrats on the 8K. You guys deserve appreciate that, Beck. Uh, rounding that... Um, Oh, I just said 8008. I love a little palindrome number for you. Hey? Uh, rounding the 600 mark, too, for the lights. Which oh, is we cool. have. Yeah, oh, we're, no, sorry. Yeah, no, we're, like, we're, getting, you know, we're, we're close. Getting close. Yes, we're close. We're close. Apex Turtle, thank you, mate. The Alliance, uh, Embraer dropping in there on 01 rights, operating Qantas 1966 from Newcastle. Uh, Terry, Terry's gone and dropped 10 gifted memberships. 10 new members in the lounge, courtesy of Terry, mate. That is, that is massive. Thank you so much. Uh, Daniel Waters, Heron NZ, Ebony Lee, Purple Butterfly, Maggie Lee, Michael Lloyd, Lance Hayden, Layla Sweetman, Choke the Yoke Airlines and Mick Barr. I, I can't, I've got to laugh every time I say that. I know. <laughs> it's a good name. Um, thank you so much, Terry. Um, yeah, we can't wait till you come back up here next week. That's going to be great. But no, thank you so much for your support, mate. Very kind of you to put 10 new members into the lounge. Ooh, that's a bit of a cold coffee. Ooh. Gives you shivers, that. Yeah, Terry always looking after us. And, mate, we, honestly, we can't thank you enough. Cop Brian saying, uh, we'll give you a, a doggy bag to fill up. Full of pancakes, mate. Don't forget the syrup. <laughs> well, do you reckon they'll let you walk in and, and grab a stack of pancakes and walk out of it? I don't think yeah. so. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, I used to, yeah. Walk out of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Enough for 10. You used to walk in, grab a toasty, walk out. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. It's probably discretionary. Some might get offended, but I don't know why. If you, you know, if you pay to be there. You've got to make that 400 bucks a, a year somehow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of the mods. Oh, uh, Owen. <laughs> Uh, pro pretty much one of the first. <laughs> Owen uh, dropping in the $2 super chat. Congrats, boys. I was here when the subs were 20. I know. I know. And I yeah. remember it so clearly. Uh, I remember when we had, you know, five people watching or even less at times. Three. Three people watching <laughs> the stream. And we, it felt like, it felt really odd, didn't it? Yeah. Um, looking back at it now. And, uh, and Owen was always one of them. <laughs> uh, thank you, mate. He's, he's been around here since the very beginning, back in, uh, what, August last year? Yeah. Around about. Yeah, crazy times, actually. Uh, yeah, Lee, I'm just looking at the radar, and, the, yeah, the rain is doing some weird things. It's actually built up into quite a big cell now. Big storm. But it's, um, it's mostly static and sort of drifting to the southeast. Uh, and it's sitting just to our north. Still on a white light. But yeah, Wonderful I mean, it's a, it's a, we get a ground stop now. Well, uh, it depends how close it gets, I guess. Oh, John Vogel, <laughs> mate. Uh, he's dropped in. He's dropped in the ten dollars super chat now. Uh, awesome guys, well deserved. Eight thousand next ten thousand subs. Uh, great streams always, mate. It's uh, appreciate it, mate. Yeah. Done, uh, done enough, more than enough. Good on you, mate. That's uh, definitely uh, definitely heading your way sometime soon. Uh, we need to. We're going to prioritise that, I think. 
We loved uh, we loved visiting Melbourne. We did, and we can't we wait. To do, yeah, a bit, bit more of a, a plane spotting centric trip rather than just the Formula One. We just want to change some of the equipment around and uh, make it more uh, fun. Well, yeah, and less light. You know, instead of sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, which was awful, by the way. The laptop was on the ground. I was having to um, bend down and read all your comments. <laughs> well, Matt Cam doesn't need a laptop. You know, that's true. That is true. I'll sit back at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit back and busy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, John, for dropping in the 10, mate. It's very, very kind. Oh, Kev's here as well. Congratulations, uh, Only Planes Network. Well done, you guys. Awesome stuff. Thank you, mate. Oh, I appreciate it, mate. Couldn't have done it without your help, that's for sure. And congrats to yourself as well. Yes. Kicking goals on the, uh, on the sub front. No, Kev's been um, on, honestly such a fantastic um, help and, um, uh, and a massive supporter of the channel. So, so we, we can't thank him enough. What was it on the C17 stream? Like 1,200 likes, mate. Oh, yeah. How about that? That was something silly. Yeah. Massive stream. I tell you what, I think people like the C17. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I love my Glowmasters. But that's um, oh, a shot. No, but yeah, big thanks, Kev. We appreciate it, mate. Thanks, uh, thanks for being uh, on the ride with us. Refueler 1972, same to you as well. Thanks, mate. We appreciate it. Uh, Maggie Lee, hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, and as as uh, Hayden saying there, uh, thank you to uh, everyone for your for your congratulations and kind words. It really does mean a lot. And uh, as Wendy said there, good on you for uh, your contribution to the channel too, Carolyn. Carolyn's been uh, uh, absolutely incredible. Super mod, I dare say. <laughs> uh, she's been she's been absolutely fantastic since, uh, well, she was one of the first mods, I think. Probably what was the first? One of the first? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Can't thank her enough. Jason Hopkins is back. Hello, mate. James, James, Carolyn, and Owen. They were the, I think they were, we did it all on the same day. Uh, Michael's here. G'day, mate. From sunny Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. London. London. How did you get Melbourne from? <laughs> How did you get Melbourne from London, UK, mate? I looked at something and I saw Mel somewhere, oh. so that's my bad. That's dyslexia for you. Um, Carolyn, mods, why are, why are my names changing? It's happened a few times today. John Vogel shows as little John. Really? Hey? Really? Really? There was a nosedive the camera then because <laughs> I was looking off the screen. Send us a screenshot. That sounds um, really weird. Maybe John's being cheeky there. Oh, yeah, we cracked the 600. Uh, Terry reckons unless there's more development in the storm, Brisbane Airport is in the clear for now. Uh, the way it's sort of drifting, though, that 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 top to the storm, uh, which is sort of uh, between the Redcliffe Peninsula and, and Narangra area, area, might be heading this way. <gasps> oh, no, Matt. What have you done? You got a rag? In there. Wind zero one zero degrees eight knots, strong wind zero one left, please land. Well, that could have gone bad. I think it might have gone in. Yeah, it has gone in, yeah. Matt's spilling coffee on the laptop. <laughs> All stations information off in our current temperature two four. <laughs> Lucky there wasn't much in there. 
Oh, that would have been a write-off, wouldn't it? Far out. But we might put cup holders in this thing next. Still on. Didn't didn't black out. Still here, I think, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Far out. Yeah, ruined my laptop, mate. <laughs> oh, that would have been uh, an expensive day for you. <laughs> Qantas 543 heading off to Sydney there, uh, straight into that storm. We'll have to see what it does here. The, the, the wind is doing some weird stuff. We're right on the edge of that storm, and and the the warning lights are still flashing down on the ground uh, to uh, to signal that there is lightning activity within 10 nautical miles. I don't have the super wide shot on this camera, but it's um, yeah, it looks pretty gnarly out there. Why is that sticky? Is it um, caramel or something in it? Sticky. I don't know, probably milk, is it? Get Tay on alcohol oh, wipe on. Ooh, was that lightning? lightning right there. Oh, well, the keys are going to be sticky now, mate. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're still white. We are still white. Yeah, still flashing. Uh, that well, it's it's getting closer. Uh, but as as Terry said, it might it might brush past. We'll find out shortly. Well, it goes to Harry. Buy an Apple Vision Pro for chat. See camera view. That would be a good idea. Wouldn't that be cool. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe in ten years. I don't think that technology is ready yet. <laughs> Yeah, there's that thunder, you hear that? Uh, yes, it is. Look, look at it just to the north of the field there, the northeast. It's, uh, it's pr looking pretty dire. Uh, actually, if you look over to Brisbane Port, you can see that the, the visibility has dropped an awful lot. Yeah, you can barely see the big dinosaur uh, crane thingies. The dinosaur cranes. Well, they look, look at them. They look like, big, like one of those brachiosauruses or something. That's what Cal calls them. Uh, N0J70. Uh, Congrats on the 8K. Thank you, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. And, and look, thanks for your company over the last couple of months as well. It's been uh, great to have you here. Have you with us. Michael, well done on the 8K subs. I found this channel a couple of weeks ago and love it. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us. Beck, what did Maddie do? Well, he just uh, he just knocked his coffee uh, onto my laptop. So, I did. Um, so all the all the keyboard keys are filled up with coffee. Yeah, that was an accident. I am very sorry. And uh, look, we're lucky it's still on. <laughs> uh, next departure has lined up on zero one right. Oh, Barbara's here. G'day, Barbara. Oh, hello, Barbara. Um, you found yourself in a bit of a stormy. It's the, you know, it's it's okay here. A very wet Brisbane. So the, the Qantas 73 here is obviously uh, sitting on the runway with the radar on, uh, checking out the weather situation. Now the cell is literally directly offshore, uh, directly where the where the 73 is facing. Uh, now that could be why they're, they're sitting here right now, uh, waiting for a gap. Oh no, it's, it's rolling. <laughs> Kev saying that in the in the naughty quarter. Qantas 633 to Melbourne. John is here. G'day, mate. I'm going plane spotting at Avalon soon. Terry, you're alive, boys. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> oh, Carolyn sent a screenshot. I'll have a look. <laughs> Terry, coffee beans spilt. The runway drying in progress. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. Uh, look at this, Matt. Barb's at it again. Oh. Is she? Congrats on the 8K subs. Uh, that's a big congratulations. Barbara, that is, that is just... That is absolutely mega. Uh, <laughs> uh, only Planes Network, you have hit a milestone. Congrats on 8K subs. Great channel. Stay strong and keep well. Love to Only Planes Network family. Is that the sun poking through behind? Oh, wow. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Barbara, what, what, what can I say? <laughs> that is just... Uh, that is just absolutely incredible. Um, that is that is absolutely mega. And uh, look, we can't thank you enough for your uh, your incredible support of the channel. You've been here for a long time as well, and um, you've really looked after us. It's been uh, it's been absolutely great to have your company. And uh, thank you, thank you for the congratulations. HS73 says, holy moly, a big holy moly indeed. I kind of wish I had the Mac cam set up to see the, uh, look at the sunset behind us, man. Um, yeah, Cliff saying uh, Bomb have now issued a severe thunderstorm warning for between Narangra and Redcliffe. Three minutes ago. And uh, look, that is heading this way. So, uh, well, kind of. We might we might get the edge of that. Look at this rainbow that's appeared right in front of us on the corner. Very Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Let's have a look. See if it comes up on camera. This sort of come out of nowhere, as in typical Queensland fashion. It is there. You can barely see it on camera. Um, no gold at the end, but there is a dashie. starting to come in a bit, eh? Wind's definitely picked up. Locations affected. Uh, so Wendy saying their loca locations affected include Redcliffe, which is, uh, of course, not far from us. It's just to the north. Uh, we can usually see it, but uh, visibility reduced to uh, virtually nothing here. Uh, just off the coast. Zero, one, zero degrees. One, zero, not. From the zero, left. Please to land. Uh, but there is quite a sunset right now because uh, to the to the southwest uh, there isn't any rain and uh, got a cheeky photo I might chuck it in the Discord later. Uh, Landis love the groundwater blowback absolutely. Uh, I love the little vortices you get in the front. I probably can't really see it on camera actually. I expect to see the uh, the warning lights change to blue soon. To be to be fair, looking at the radar, uh, the the lightning is is getting closer. So um, so potentially could be a ground stop here. A little bit of water, a bit of water about. Uh, heading straight into that storm. They're making a very quick right-hand turn to avoid it, to avoid the cell. Uh, Marcel, triple seven, Air Callan, 3.30, 10 minutes out. Oh, stop it. Are we going to see the 3.30 Neo again today? How about that? That's a little treat. Another treat. Oh, Wendy still gets the warnings. <laughs> of course, the, uh, like, Morton Alert, I guess. But yeah, so that so that uh, Embraer, that's just made a quick right-hand turn to avoid the, the centre of the cell, which is literally just to the north of us right now. It's tempting to 
set up. I might set up this camera actually for that wide shot. Uh, that's almost a wicked. Almost think that it's not a good idea with the storm. No, she'll be apples. Because <laughs> the, the water is blowing in. I might get the uh, OPN umbrella out, the trusty OPN umbrella. Try and protect. The try and protect it somewhat. James's trusty Hello Kitty umbrella. Uh, Josh Amos. Uh, Joining or rejoining us in the lounge there, I think, isn't it? Um, welcome, mate. Um, oh, it's, oh, it says new member, but member for two months. So it's yeah, just YouTube doing YouTube things. But I uh, appreciate your support there, Josh. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being with us here on this uh, wet, brizzy uh, Sunday stream. That uh, challenge has made it back fast, hasn't it? Obviously likes the challenge. Uh, I'm going to get that umbrella quickly. One second. Yeah, go on. It's right here. All right, big thanks again there, Josh. Um, it's a bit nippy, isn't it? Uh, Barbara's at it again. Uh, Above and beyond before, you've already, you've, trust me, you've already done enough. She's jumped in with the 10 gifted memberships as well. Um, absolute ripper support for, but I'm going to try and chuck some emojis in the chat there because um, terrible multitasking, I know, but that's insane effort today, Barbara. We can't thank you enough. Now uh, that's gone to uh, Anita, Leo, uh, Pedro, Cody, Mick, uh, Ryan C, Stuart, Jeff, uh, Maxi and Damon uh, all jumping in the lounge courtesy of Barbara who's um, Barbara, a massive supporter of the channel yeah Barbara that is absolutely amazing um, we, we can't thank you enough truly and a supporter of a lot of channels really She's, yes uh, she is an absolute legend amongst the uh, the plane spawning community um, yeah we, and, and look no words we say can, can, can thank her enough so um, truly uh, Barbara thank you Uh, interestingly, that Qantas 330, Qantas 126, arrived a little while ago, still pinging up on flight radar. I'm not sure why. Uh, do you want to take that? Because I was just... Uh, well, are you going to hold the umbrella, mate? <laughs> no, that's all right. I was going to get the other camera. Qantas 714, Brisbane Town. Thinking about the uh, it's likely to be tracked to the line, but... Uh, look at it over there, it actually doesn't look very bad, does it? No, but then you go to the other side and it's a very different story. It's all right, I, it's not... Yeah, right is a little bit hard. I will, uh, I will let you, I will abide. It's looking pretty ugly to the, uh, look at that, look at the visibility beyond the, uh, beyond the field, there's, there's none. Yeah, I just want to get the camera up there a little bit just to get that wide shot. We might be about to get smashed. Do it. Let's do it. And, uh, Let's do it. Uh, runway zero one left. So that's actually um, over the other side. But I'll just uh, see what's going on over here because I think we just had the uh, all whites. Oh, some lightning out there. Where is the all white umbrella? Umbrella? Umbrella. There it is.
Yeah, there's all the barb emojis. That's awesome. Oh, look at it to the to the north, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, I've already got it up. Yeah. That's the storm that's sort of heading towards us now. Actually, look at the little bit of colour through the... Oh, it really doesn't come through. <laughs> doesn't do any justice. Matt's on the, uh, the car park cam. That's nasty, isn't it? Yes. Uh, oh, I've just done that wrong. Here we go. Uh, Landis just dropped in the 10 US dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Landis. Uh, good day from California. Mate, I hope you are well. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, good day from California. How's that go? Does it go again? Put a little bit of zing on the end of that. I liked it. Uh, Lee's saying you might actually get clipped, fellas. Um, yeah, it's um, it's looking pretty ugly. I, just to the, I'm surprised we're still only on a, on a white light, actually, because that is a, a inter interesting sky if I've ever seen one. It is. It is coming to the south now. That that storm, that cell has has turned direction slightly, and it's now coming to the south. So we are going to get smashed. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Oh, well, let's see what happens, I guess. <laughs> uh, Marcel, Air Cullen, 3.30, five minutes out. Uh, keep on to us. We don't want to miss it in this weather. We're getting a bit distracted. Sorry for the, um, yeah, the, the crazy nature of it right now. We're just, we're all over the place. <laughs> oh. Ding dong. Uh, Nick. Oh. Mick, hello, mates. He's dropping in with uh, five gifted memberships. Five new members, courtesy of Mick. Uh, that's gone to Cornelius, Robert, Big Volcano. Volcano? Oh. I think it's Volcano. Uh, Jesse and Ingo. Uh, jumping in the lounge, courtesy of Mick there. Appreciate that, mate. Big thank you to you. Thanks for joining us this Sunday on a uh, stormy Brisbane stream. I, I do not know what's going on right now because some. Uh, all the departures, there's not many departures right now, but the ones that are departing are are making a very quick right-hand turns to avoid the cell. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, very quick right-hand turns. Holy cow. Which is very unusual to see. Very tight. Bit of a contrast with uh, with Craig here. Not a drop out here in the hills district, but uh, might fire up the barbecue now. It's an interesting colour, that isn't it? Yeah. Thank you again, Mick. That's very kind of you to drop five new members into the lounge. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, Land is saying in our Midwest, when the cloudy sky turns pink or purple, could be twisters. Uh, very much a, a pink cast. Um, there's the uh, sky there, isn't it? There's, there is lightning. You can see it on the on the mat cam there. Uh, to the north, the, the corner seven three is still holding short on zero one right. I believe uh, it's probably probably waiting. For, the, the cell might be too close now for a departure. Very cool. Love good storm. Yes. <laughs> as long as as long as we don't get smashed, we're good. Yeah. Tech doesn't like uh, water, does it?
there's the warning lights still flashing away. No, uh, no ground stop as of yet, which I have to say I'm surprised yeah, about. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I think that might change very shortly though. I just, it, it's the colour for me. It's an, oh, an awesome colour out there. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to hijack that because Air Callan is about to land. Uh, it's coming in. On zero one right. Now you wouldn't want to go around now, would you? <laughs> Straight into that cell. Lee's saying if it keeps up, it'll be the uh, <laughs> only hydroplanes network. Now this is an absolute stunner. Uh, the the Air Callan 330 Neo, the 339er. Um, one of the most incredible liveries. One of two Air Callan 330 Neos. Coming in from Namia. Johnny Crevin, hello, Bandit welcome, mate. Band of clouds in between you and the field. You should come out of it in about two miles. The wind of the field, 340 degrees, 13 knots. Crumley is wet. Crumley is on left, clear to land. Look at the colours. Oh, I just can't believe that. The, um, the colour of the sky has just gone really, like, red. Um, it's very hard to show. Uh, in fact, we'll show it there quickly. Look at that. Yeah. And that's like true. That's uh, that's not just an illusion on the camera. That's that's kind of the colour that the, the field has just changed to in reality. Really odd. That's very fun. Ozzy the Mozzie's here, g'day mate. Tesla saying that's a microburst, boys. Is that the, the weather event? Is a microburst, which is a small area of um, very heavy rain, I guess. Uh, Brian Svensson, 8K party. Shout out to the prop queen, Barbara Sterling, absolutely. Who is uh, <laughs> here with us as well. So she has been incredible. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we. We, we can never thank her enough, can we? And, uh, Brian, of course, celebrating four months in the lounge there. We appreciate it, mate. Uh, look forward. Well, that was a bit close. Wasn't I it? am very surprised them warning lights have not changed. The lightning uh, north of us here. Uh, yeah, looking forward to catching up, Brian, when, uh, when Kev's in town. In town, yeah. Thank you so much, mate, for the, for the four months. Tez is saying, batten down, fellas. Hopefully won't send you offline. Well, the only thing that will send us offline is if uh, well, the equipment gets blown over, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the water gets into it. At this state, uh, stage, the, the biggest risk we've had was my coffee. <laughs> yeah. So as long as everything stays dry, I think we're okay. Well, we've got an umbrella here to save the, the main bits. I still can't believe that colour. I love it. And uh, well, 662 of you have hit the like button today, which is just absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't already, if you've recently joined Ooh. us and you, you, you're enjoying Brisbane, uh, please do hit the like button. Uh, it helps us an awful lot because we, uh, we, we want to continue coming out here and it helps the channel grow. Uh, Chrissy Girl, good afternoon. El Trippo. Welcome. Uh, asking about the free membership thing. Oh, is that, uh, it's just randomly gifted uh, by YouTube. There's some uh, big lightning to the oh, north. Massive. Uh, Chris, you go, you're in for a not so nice storm. It looks it. Yeah, it does look very nasty. Shaz, Shaz is saying the sky looks like it's on fire. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that redness is kind of disappearing now. It's, it's getting, uh, it's becoming more grey again. I think now the sun set. No, the, now the sun has set. It's got a purple, more a purple hue now. Absolute stunning aircraft, though. The uh, 
Air Callum 330neo. Uh, the only 330neo that actually flies into Brisbane. Uh, it's not typically a scheduled service, but they've been sending it quite often recently. Now, what's this coming in, Matt? Can, what's the arrival uh, on short final? Uh, Jetstar 484. There it is. Oh, I might get that umbrella. Yeah, head again. yeah, I think you should do that. <laughs> Jetstar 484 from Newcastle. Coming in on uh, 01. Oh, that wasn't really as cool as I thought it would be. You, you anyway. might need to move that camera. I don't think it's a good idea to leave it out if you can level with it. <laughs> All right. Might switch. Alpha 7 line up. Alpha 7 line up, Alpha 7. Gaz Lamar's here, thanks mate. Congrats on the 8K subs. Uh, Brian Svensson out in the front yard taking zoom lens pictures of aircraft heading into uh, Brisbane. Uh, I would imagine, I haven't looked at the radar, but I would imagine there's a lot of aircraft in, in holding patterns around Brisbane right now. I might do that, I might pull that out actually, it's a good, good point. Uh, because, yes, uh, operations have slowed down an awful lot here. Uh, in saying that, though, Bris uh, uh, Sunday is not a, a busy afternoon. I could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. There might be uh, not enough aircraft. No, it's, it's pretty clean up there. I'm just looking at the radar. That storm cell is, is just off the coast. It's massive. But some of the remnants of it are coming this way, uh, and we are going to get smashed. So, uh... <laughs> And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the mat cam away, because I don't want... If we can avoid just something... Put there, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Holy cow. Um, just take it off the tripod and put it in the back. Yeah. Just uh, turn off the gimbal. Two winds at three five zero degrees at one four knots. Somewhere zero one right. I seen here, Barbara. I'm gonna have a chat to you off stream in a minute. <laughs> uh, she's at it again. Barbara's done it again, mate. James is just uh, packing the camera, one of the the Mac cam away, so we, uh, we don't get rained out. But Barbara, that's uh, as James would say, that's mega, and it, it really is uh, above and beyond. OPN, many love uh, for you and your milestone. Uh, on their behalf, this gift to celebrate. Much love, James and Maddie, and OPM family. Barbara, we, <laughs> we can't thank you enough. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. No, definitely, uh, definitely not required by any means. Um, but, but gratefully, yeah. gratefully received and gratefully appreciated. Barbara. Uh, Henry, the loop is empty. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. There's not a single car down there by the looks of it. Uh, very, very quiet. With this storm. All right, well, let's see, if, let's see what we can see. We've just had an arrival, but I think there's, uh, there's a departure just about to go out, so um, 
Here it is, Virgin. Are we on blue light? I think we're on blue light. Information Quebec now, current change, wind 340 degrees, 15 knots, maximum crossing 1-2. I think there's a ground stop. Diversions around, I hope we should be here much longer. Diversions? No, Barbara. Um, that is just uh, absolutely mega. And uh, what are you saying? Barb's about to go to the naughty corner, but for entirely wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. No, we, uh, we, 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 we cannot thank you enough. She's been uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, now, a, what's, a channel legend. What's going on down here? Have we got, uh, have we got a heavy pushing back? There's two heavies. Hanging. Oh, no, that's the Callum. It's just arrived. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just have a look at these lights. Is that, uh, that's blue to me. Would you, would you call that blue? I think that's blue. That is. We're on blue light, ground stop. So, um, now that doesn't mean that everyone has to um, leave the field, does it? It's, yeah. it's, is it? Yeah. I no. thought it was company, uh, up to the individual company uh, on, on, as to whether they actually do. Uh, not to my knowledge. Right. It could be the case, but. Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, ground stop means ground stop. Everyone, uh, everyone indoors, basically. There would be uh, a few exceptions, I imagine. What have I done to this umbrella? Oh, and stay open. What's that? Yeah. You haven't broken it, have you? Oh, no, there we go. That's just the wind, I think. Oh, okay. Um, all right. What's going on with this? What's going on with this rain? I think I think this uh, storm cell is still heading this way. Velocity 1266. Wind now 340 degrees, 15 knots. Runway 0 left, clear to land. Can you see any movement on the pitch? No. Uh, I'm just looking at this corner 73 that's obviously just pushed back. Aid Buchanan, a rampy's best friend, blue lights. <laughs> it is while they're on, but as soon as they turn off, you've got absolute havoc. Um. So the Virgin 73 just cleared for takeoff on 01 right. Uh, Virgin 793 to Cairns. Let's see what we can actually see, because uh, it's very dark down there. That one you were on was an arrival, not it wasn't pushed back. So oh, it'll, right. it'll sit okay. there until the ground stop. Right, so finishes, because basically. because of the ground stop, they won't. They'll just sit there, right? Correct. That makes sense then. Uh, what have we got here lining up? Virgin 793, as I said, off to Cairns, uh, just cleared for departure, uh, making a very quick right-hand turn after departure, 120 degrees, to avoid the cell. Follow this one out for a bit. I, I love seeing that right hander. On, it'll probably do the same, I imagine. If we can see it, that is. It's quite hard to tell the difference between the white and blue lights, isn't it? It uh, is from here. That's why I had to get the camera in on it. But I, you can't see it's blue. I think that's just some of the lights are a bit faded. There we go. Virgin 793. Rolling. Uh, six o'clock now. You know, we're, we're ordinarily we'd probably get close to ending the stream uh, um, with this sort of lighting, um, but yeah, with the ground stop, it's kind of exciting actually. We'll probably it is. push on a little bit. Yes, I did say that there was definitely a potential for us to push on, like we did last time. Look, the camera's handling the light pretty well. Oh, look, look at that, that lightning. lightning! Yeah, that's mad. 
Uh, it's a lot darker up there than the, the camera is making it appear. It's, yes. Uh, 78, wind 330 degrees, one four knots, runway zero one right, clear for land. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's very close to pitch black almost. Velocity 793, contact the bus is going to keep... There we go, just disappeared. Still see the lights. Uh, Lee saying the uh, QF flight to Cairns had to go uh, south uh, and, uh, and around to get past it. Outlander saying, in these conditions, an airport is a ghostly sight. It is. It's strange to see when you see, uh, especially on a busy day, uh, you just have aircraft uh, kind of sitting everywhere, idling. Very strange to see. Yes, yeah, so this one we're just talking about, this is the one that's just arrived. And because of the ground stop, uh, mm -hmm. the blue flashing lights that you can kind of see there. Uh, yeah, so this one's coming from Sydney. Uh, actually, have a look at the front engine there. You'll be able to see the vortices. It's just disappeared. See? The little yeah. whirly winds. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Just <laughs> me, maybe. <laughs> so that will sit there until, uh, until the ground staff are able to um, go back out on the field. Um, there is something on zero on left there, but you can't even tell what it is from, from here. Very low visibility. See those blue flashing yeah. lights here. Uh, which means uh, lightning within uh, five nautical miles. Rain's picking up there. Yeah. Almost felt like we were in the eye a little bit. <laughs> it was dead a minute ago. Weather always wins, absolutely. Uh, what have we got here? Virgin 178 uh, in from Nandi. The uh, Max 8. One of four Max 8s that Virgin Australia have uh, taken delivery of so far. Brian Svensson, 4 a.m. in Myrtle Beach. Um, Barbara is definitely a prop whisperer. Absolutely. Uh, I tried to fit prop, prop whisperer in the uh, in an emoji for Barbara, and it just wasn't working. So, uh, but I think I think what we've got for the Barb emoji, I, I, I quite like. I love, I love seeing it in the chat, and I think Barbara likes it too. Look at that rain coming in. Uh, Matt Jay's here, welcome mates. Uh, VA Max coming in on final, there we go, so I must be behind on that one. Uh, Ancelini, loving the stream, fellas. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, apologies for, like, the, the crazy nature of it. You know, we're <laughs> running around here just sort of making sure the equipment's somewhat protected, but yeah. um, <laughs> which makes it seem a bit unorganised at times. But uh, hey, I hope you're enjoying it nevertheless. Uh, Aiden Buchanan. Uh, yeah, as soon as the, uh, the lights go back to light, you have five different aircraft calling up for someone to bring them in. It gets very hectic. It does. It really does. Oh, that's a... That was very, <laughs> very close, that lightning. Um, Listen out for a bit of thunder, maybe. I remember the last time I was involved in the ground stop. It, it, it basically uh, it lasted for a good forty odd minutes. Uh, it went back to white. We literally got in our tugs, started driving, and then went back to blue again. Uh, down for another thirty odd minutes. That was a yeah, that was a rough day. That one. Wise Choice One, welcome mates, great show, appreciate it. Johnny Criven, Breaker Breaker, this is a baby mate. What are you on about, mate? Are we still talking about planes? Yeah, I'll see you there now. At least 20 minutes of heavy rain and lightning. Oh, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> I I've love said it. it before. I've always wanted, when I was younger, I wanted to be a uh, storm chaser. Storm so, chaser, yeah. yeah. So this is kind of, I'm in my prime up here at the moment. Refueler blue, is everyone off? Yes, yep.
Now, I would, as I said before, I would imagine there is uh, some aircraft in holding patterns uh, awaiting arrival. I wouldn't be surprised anyway. Ben, absolutely enjoying that. Appreciate it, mate. While well, we're looking this way, let's have a look, another look at that KC-30 uh, that's over at Northrop. Just on 935, Richard, Chow, good day. Information share is now current. The change is uh, the is producing 3,000 metres. The temperature is 2, 3, but I do have you inside. You should have a clear run all the way to the ground. There is a shower field that's at the northern end. Runway's wet. Continue approach. Runway's are unlucky. So that's uh, Alpha 39, 007, which is uh, one of the seven... KC-30s in the Royal Australian Air Force fleet. Uh, this one is specifically the uh, VIP transporter, yeah, the wind is, uh, all headwind which is uh, fitted out to, um, well, it's usually used for uh, carrying the, the PM uh, to overseas destinations. Like saying, uh, Phil's, uh, Phil's saying the longest uh, stand down he's had, uh, or ground stop, sorry, he's had is three hours. Wow. In the event of a mission approach, a mission approach signal. Refuel of the blue light, not a refueler's best friend, I bet, mate. Just a uh, Matt J, loving the show, boys. It's always fun when the blue lights are on and you're stuck in the jump seats with the seatbelt signs on. <laughs> oh, the joys of aviation, yeah. Uh, camera still doing somewhat of an okay job, which is uh, which is good. Uh, considering it's very dark here. Oh, Nana Jules, uh, I've been a storm chaser slash photographer for 30 years. Oh, that's awesome. Do you need a? Uh, do you need a? I don't know, a TA or something? <laughs> I'll help out. <laughs> uh, might get a bit wet in that dash eight, eh? The doors left open. Well, you can't really do much about that, can you? Cargo holds open as well. Yes. Uh, Justin Lambert, good morning slash evening from uh, Norwich, UK. You like that one, James? Uh, Matt knows how to pronounce Norwich now. Oh, we've, I do. We've taught him. No, oh, I do. I oh, know very <laughs> well. All right, great stream, guys. We appreciate it, mate. Yeah, welcome to uh, sunny Queensland. <laughs> yeah. The Sunshine State, uh, it, it's meant to be. Down under. <laughs> it says so on my license plate. Uh, currently waiting for the next arrival. Uh, shouldn't be too far away. Barbara saying, Brian, got a huge hug coming in June. We've got two huge hugs here. Uh, if you ever <laughs> we'll get, we'll <laughs> get Bri this way. Brian to pass them on. <laughs> I reckon Brian's a big hugger. He'd love it. Yes. 134, wind 340 degrees, 1, 2 knots. Runway 0, 1 right, clear to land. Uh, Qantas 134, I believe that's Christchurch, isn't it? Uh, clear uh, to I land. Think, yeah. Clear to land on 0, 1 right. And uh, let me know if you need the right. Uh, I don't have visual yet. Now, 350 degrees, 9 knots, swinging back around to a headwind. Uh, Nana Jules, where, where are you based? Curious, are you? Oscar, hello from Canberra. Welcome, mate. Thanks for joining us. I might put this umbrella away. It looks like a bit of a nafty out there. I don't think we need it right now. Uh, Qantas 134 just about to cross Brisbane River. There's mates here as well. G'day, mates. Qantas 747. Tez is celebrating my uh, pronunciation of Norwich. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, there's actually quite a few aircraft um, coming in. Or? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Not far out, so um, so I might get a bit of a bit of a line. Oh, central central Queensland, fair income. How does one get into storm chasing? Uh, is it? I've always thought it was uh, 
Oh, no, I, I, I lost my train of thought there, but I, I thought it was something that was quite difficult to get into. That would be uh, maybe it's glamorise and, and, uh, and I'm glamorising it too much. Have but. the uh, warning lights just changed back to white? Oh, yeah, they do look a bit white. I think they might have. You have to zoom in. Uh, I'm just on the lookout for, yeah, there it is, Qantas 134. You wouldn't think so with the lightning like that, though, would you? No. That felt really close. Aussie the Mozzie night stream, boys, let's go. <laughs> Look at the rain uh, under the lampposts there. Yeah. Camera's doing an awesome job, Craig Money says. We'll have to put you on overtime, plus danger pay. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Does appear to be back on white. Uh, we've got some aircraft pointing to bays now. Ah, this is one of the uh, split scimitar winglets on this uh, Qantas 73, one of the first. Actually, I think I believe it might be the first. Yeah. <laughs> Some new winglets for an old livery. Yeah. That's what I thought was uh, new. But... Uh, Victor Zulu uniform, I believe this is, which is which was the first to be uh, retrofitted with the splits. Yeah, so definitely back to white. We've got some movement on the pitch again. And uh, and actually, the retrofits for all the Qantas 7 threes is happening here at Brisbane. Noah Walkie uh, Productions, appreciate it, mate. When did we crack 700 lights? Oh, we have too. Look at that. That's Great. Stuck up on us. Yes. Sally, uh, I'm missing dinner to watch this. <laughs> sorry, mate. No, so are we, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, there's still... Uh, actually, you know what? You can see the Redcliffe Peninsula. The visibility is improving in areas... Noah, hey guys, why are you out there so late? I mean, it's not too late. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's still quite early. early it's just by the, our standards. Uh, sunset is, uh, is is quite early here in Brisbane now. And uh, look, it's going to be 5 p.m. one <laughs> one day in the near future, isn't it? I believe that's the earliest sort of time it gets to in, in the winter. Amelia Briscoe's here as well. Good day, Amelia. Uh, Mick Jed. They say looks like a bit more to come yet, but uh, probably not as bad. I'm just going to have a look at the radar myself. See what's going on. Yeah, that's really interesting, isn't it? It's hard to say. Hard to say. Fokker 70 of Alliance Airlines.
<laughs> Aiden jumping in again. Cheeky super chat money, James. Where's catering? <laughs> well, look, they're not allowed out in the field, so they may as well come up here, right? I know, right? I found out uh, <laughs> yesterday, actually, uh, working at catering, you get meals provided. Really? What, yeah, you make it yourself? Bonus. Well, they're, they're pre-made, aren't they? A lot of them. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, send, up, send the catering up. Uh, the Krispy Kreme donuts would go nicely, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking more of the eye fillets in first class. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get Donata onto it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good on you, Hayden. Thanks for the for the two, mate. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah. Cadding would be uh, would be great right now, actually. I'm just looking. Uh, I can barely see Cross it, but there's a dash eight uh, just here. What's going on here? One zero degrees, eight knots. One zero one left to clear. That's a bit of an odd spot for it to um to to stop. Contact ground on 121, Jason, we'll send Just checking the ATIS here. Uh, so we're still on, yeah, 01 left, 01 right. Arrival departures, uh, service conditions wet. Independent parallel Contact departures in progress. High intensity approaching, high intensity runway lighting operating. Uh, wind 340, 15 knots, max crosswind 12 knots. Visibility 10 kilometres, reducing to 3 kilometres. Um, temperature now 2, 3 degrees. The uh, split skimmies on the uh, Virgin 737-800 as well. They've got a few of these uh, retrofitted. <laughs> that looks incredible. The mood lighting. Well, no, the whole aircraft. Like, I, I, I look at this with the naked eye. I can't even see it. No. <laughs> and the camera's uh, showing the, the cabin lighting. It's showing, yeah, it's doing a great job. I, I think we judge pretty harshly on this camera. We do. I, I just think it does all right yeah. uh, in, in this current configuration. Not, uh, not, not too shabby. No. Even though the lens is not uh, the best for this sort of condition. Uh, Mixing the Alliance tower design makes me think of the uh, the last handset tail uh, before it folded. Yeah, that quite regularly as well, don't we? All oh, right, that dash eight uh, was actually crossing over to uh, the other side of the runway to the hangar. It's surprising to see it go over on. Oh, look at the look at the props. Oh, oh, oh they cool. just turned the lights off. Oh no! Well, at least we got a glimpse of it. That was awesome. Uh, it's it's quite rare to see them go over there under their own power. Um, it's very odd, in fact. Uh, Nick's here. Good morning from the UK. Or well, good evening from us, mate. Welcome. Joe VD, awesome stream, guys. Thank you, mate. So this Qantas Link Dash 8, the Q400, going into the Qantas Link hangar uh, just here. Refuel are saying the storm warning system is a bit bizarre for us in Perth. Uh, it's run by Sydney, so the storm hits us direct and then lights come on uh, in after the cell has passed. Yeah, see, that's no good. Beats the purpose, doesn't it? All right, we've got an arrival coming in. Zero one right. Queenstown. Storm warning lights still on on the field. Uh, Jared saying just north of you guys and we received 94 mil in the rain by far out. Really? Wow. And that's what's just sort of brushed past us. It looks like we've avoided the worst of it, but um, that's insane. 
and it just sort of came out of nowhere this afternoon. Quite unexpected. Qantas Link 186 from Queenstown. Craig Murray, I've got you guys playing live on the TV uh, and the results far exceed what you can see. Uh, the vision you're streaming out to us it remains first class. Appreciate that, mate. Good to hear. Look at that spray. Good. 737 likes for the uh, 73, dropping it in on 01 right. <laughs> nice. I didn't even <laughs> notice that, but yeah. Having fun with numbers. I uh, appreciate it. That, appreciate that, Craig. It's the best way to enjoy the stream, I think, um, having it on the telly. Darwin Stubby's here, just checking in. I knew you'd have a, uh, a storm again. Thanks for joining us, mate. Oh, that Ooh. was some close lightning. I wish I had that on camera. That was right at the Brisbane port. Yeah. Uh, phase low. G'day, guys. Oh, where am I? This chat skipped to me. Uh, G'day, boys. Uh, you're going to be streaming this coming Wednesday morning by any chance. Uh, I'm not uh, really sure about next week. There's no plans in place as of yet, uh, but definitely possible. Uh, yeah, not. I could tell you, unfortunately, mate. Not, not yet. Um, but keep an eye out. Turn the notifications on if you haven't already, and um, you, you'll see as soon as we schedule something. Big saying the Qantas plane has been sent to its room without any dinner. That's the, that'd be the Q Link dash here we saw before. Dahlia, Qantas Link 186 from Queenstown. I think you mean did Qantas. I say, did you say Qantas Link? Did I say I Qantas Link? I mean, if, uh, <laughs> I must have. I must have. Wow. The coffee's worn off, mate. Yeah, mate. It's, uh, it's gone. Oh, you need a hot cocoa and a Tim Tam <laughs> slam, I reckon. Oh. Uh, John Vogel's off um, in dinner time. Thanks, James and Matt. Great Sunday afternoon stream. Thanks to the legends. Goodbye all. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, we'll definitely see you in the next one. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. What's left of it? Isaki's saying the same. No, it's a full Qantas James, not a Qantas Slick. <laughs> Ashley saying... Uh, yeah, four cape stream. Four cape stream makes the difference. The uh, data cape, cape Azul data joining capabilities in Brisbane must be top notch. Yeah, Azul uh, joining us from Canberra. Hello, mates. That's this is where that lightning was coming from. Just over here. I wonder if we can yeah, try and chance it. Yeah, as you can see under the lights, there still rain coming down. Aiden Toppings here. G'day, mate. Watched my plane take off to uh, Hobart last week via your stream. That was definitely an experience. Oh, that's awesome, mate. Appreciate you uh, chiming in there. Glad we could uh, catch your departure. I'm getting a few mosquitoes. How about you? <laughs> we still got that. Um... Well, they're like the um, pommy blood, you see. Where's the um, stuff that Brian sent us? It's in the car, I think. <laughs> All right, we've got a Dash 8 heading out here. Is this going out for a flight, or is it going to the hangar? <laughs> oh, turn the, turn the wing lights on, please. That would be great right now, wouldn't it? It's got passengers on board. I think it might be the same one, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely favouring you. Uh, Nigel Hogg's off. No worries, mate. Thanks for joining us. Uh, happy Sunday. That's 989 Brisbane Tower. Uh, Tez is saying, see you on Sunday, boys. Mint Slice and Tim Tam's on me. Next week, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, mate. Sounds oh, we need James. To, to, we have to do a Tim Tam slam. It has to happen. Yeah. Uh, Wendy Cutler's off as well. No worries, Wendy. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks yeah. for joining us. Thanks we'll see you in the next one. We'll talk to you soon. He's saying uh, the Phantom from Perth landing on zero one left. That is two. All right, let's go over. 
let's see what we can see. It's very dark over that side of the field, but we'll, we'll try. 300. We'll try. And you can see the rain sort of coming in from that direction as well. This is Professor. It's almost uh, 1.30 a.m., so I'm heading to bed. Uh, thanks for the streaming. Congrats again on the 8K subs. Stay safe in the storms. Thank See you so much. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, Mrs. Professor. Very kind of you. Yes, so we're looking for the uh, Embraer Phenom in from Perth. Uh, we can kind of just see the, the start, uh, well, the end of the touchdown zone over on 01 left from this location. Between the car park there. Might only catch the rollout of the aircraft here. Yeah, look, it's already touched down. And it's very dark over there. Pitch black, isn't it? Yeah, I would I would call it pitch black. <laughs> uh, camera doing a great job of seeing anything at all. <laughs> Tez is saying, I'm not travelling 2.5 hours uh, not to do a Tim Tam slam. Well said, I think, mate. I think we can uh, I think we can manage that. November Julian Charlie Ground one two four decimal zero five. One two four zero five. You see the lights uh, crossing the bridge in the background from the Red Cliff Peninsula. How cool is that? Clontarf there. Still see a bit of lightning out there. Uh, Anthony, congrats on eight K subs. Well deserved fellas. We appreciate it, mate. Thanks for being one of those. I was trying to cast the touchdown, but I think, oh, I'm just going to get it. Just. Ish. <laughs> Corner to nine. The eight, jet nine, star. Wind. Three, one, zero degrees. Five knots. Runway zero, one left. Clear to land. Now, uh, what is this, Matt? The jet star 320 from... Launceston down in Tasmania. Check 374 data Brisbane Tower. Still a fair bit of water out there. Uh, and lightning off in the distance. Mostly north by the looks of it. Well, it's coming in from the northwest. Uh, that's the direction everything's coming from. Check 374 down our sun heading left 340. Hold short, runway 01 left. What's that? Oh, I was just checking the audio. Oh, right. Ooh, we got yellow lights up here. Yellow flashing lights up in the car park. <laughs> that can't be good. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are these guys doing out in the rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Azul, great stream, like always. Uh, these streams helps get the, uh, the pinpoint accuracy on my Brisbane model airport. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. That'd Thank be you, cool mate. To see, actually. Three seventy four dollar runway zero on left pit take off. I've got. Oh, that's one twenty six pinging. Do you want to jump over to zero one left? Can't 
Can't really see what we got out there. Dashi, Qantas Link, 2374. Off to Rocky. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, Brisbane Triple Sevens off. Heading off the stream after a great time and an interesting weather. Uh, thanks to the host and mods, of course. No worries, mate. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, wicked weather this afternoon. Big fan of the... Uh, well, virtually red skies that we had this afternoon. Tasha, I love the wing lights on the Dash 8 props. Yeah, it's... Look, to be honest with you, uh, it's you can't see it that well in person, but when you get the camera on it uh, and expose it just right, it uh, yeah, it sort of comes into a, into a league of its own. Actually, I wonder if we got one over here. Well, it's not a dashi. <laughs> I thought it was a dashi. That, there you go. I, I can't see you very well without the camera. So the tail is a, is a great example. It's quite difficult to see that even in person, but it's very faint. Sorry. Sorry, I was just away in the background. Bit of action up here, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, just having a chat to someone in the background. Quickly. Velocity 346, Brisbane Tower. Uh, no, Casey just, and Tolson, is that thunder? There probably was before. We've had a, a little bit of lightning activity around yeah, yeah, us. Yeah, I think it's... I'm it's surprised. Obviously far enough, I'm surprised there hasn't been more thunder actually. The, yeah, look, there is a bit of activity that north northwest, but um, it must be too far away. It's always hard to tell when you see lightning noise. Yeah. Sorry, I just I just had to watch back that um, dash eight departure and wow, it actually looked really awesome. No, over that's on, what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, zero one left. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> we even hear the tail, you know. Yeah, look at that. And uh, Terry, Terry's gone and dropped in a $5 super chat. Mate, that is very kind. Thank you. Uh, thank you for another awesome stream, James and Matt. See you on Level 9 next Sunday. Oh, sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Yeah, I think a, I think a hot chockey and, uh, and a Tim Tam slam, mate. Yeah, can't wait. Come um, Sunday. <laughs> Actually, weather like this is perfect for that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, no, big, big thanks to you, Tezza. Look forward to seeing you then. Uh, Lee saying, yeah, that was a good shot of the dash. He still had, uh, still clear and detailed. Helped that it had its lights on. Absolutely, mate. 
we get really crisp images uh, when it's nice and cool like this. You know what I mean? It's uh, you, can, you can see that lightning uh, over the over the pitch there. Yeah. Uh, Malaysian A3, A380 fan, Dallas, Australia. Thanks for a great live stream today, boys. Thank you, mate. Thank you for your company. Uh, Brisney, 777. Uh, Tony, uh, that's all, folks. Have a good night. Till next time. Thank you, mate. Thank you for your company. It's great oh, to have you with us. New Zealand touchdown. <laughs> we did miss the New Zealand touchdown. And there, and there is a, there's a departure as well uh, about to go out. We'll catch that. But thanks. Where's that? Oh, Virgin? It's full length, mate. Full length. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I think it is. It's actually hard to tell a little bit. Isn't it, it is hard to tell. That night. Forgot, it, actually, no, sorry. It might be the Virgin at Alpha 7, because the other one, no, that's on a taxi. Isn't it? it's really, uh, there is one lining up at Alpha 7. It's really hard, because we can only uh, use the, the camera, really. Cause As with, a reference. With the yeah. naked eye, it's, it's virtually impossible to see it. Well, talk of KFC chips by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, where'd that come from? Because that's making me a bit hungry. Yeah. There is a KFC on the Oh, way, maybe, you know? maybe we'll be dropping by KFC. It might be a shout. It might be a shout. <laughs> Here we oh, go. Ben, 321 coming in. Sorry, mate. I missed it. Um, Virgin, 346. I imagine there's another New Zealand. There's usually two in a row. Roxy 615, uh, Tango 13, line up runway 0 on left. Just a short delay while I wait for the one that's uh, landing on the parallel runway. You're right there, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just uh, continue on. <laughs> oh, I actually don't know what happened there. That was really weird. I was thinking about chips and uh, I don't know. That was weird. Anyway. Zoned out. Wind 320 degrees, 10 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers, reducing to 4,000 meters in rain. Thunderstorms to the east. Temperature to 2 changes for Tango. Uh, second Air New Zealand on final. Oh, I'll get over there now. Oh. Come on, mate. Uh, the, the New Zealand 147 from Auckland, the second 321 Neo. It's really odd because we're used to seeing these um, during daylight uh, just a couple of weeks ago, really, wasn't it? Uh, and now, obviously, uh, pitch black here at 6.30 p.m. Required to track straight ahead, and then we'll give you further turn once that went. 472, Brisbane Town. Oh, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone and dropped the $5 super chat uh, through till the A380 leaving, right? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'd love to. I'd love to, but... Um, Wow, that's another two and a half hours. <laughs> I mean, maybe this week, because I am on, I'm on nights this week, so it uh, uh, makes it a bit easier. Very, very possible at some point uh, during the week, but, but yeah. Might not. do a members only stream. Uh, yeah, not that on it there. Obviously, you know, far enough away not to pose any, uh, any risk, but yeah. Uh, 657, wind 340 degrees, 6 knots, runway 01 right, clear to land. No, big thanks, Alan. We appreciate it, mate. I'm just looking at the radar. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit distracted again. Looking okay? There's a cell just sort of sitting to the north that's become stagnant, and it was coming this direction. What's your, you know, what do you reckon, mate? What's your, what's your call? It's up to you. No, I mean, as far as what's, what's it going to do? Coming back to seconds. <laughs> there might be a little bit more rain coming. Uh, we do have another. Oh, look at that. Holy dooly. Did that come up on stream? Well, not the actual uh, oh, bolt. It was that just was a bolt of lightning we've ever seen one. If you were zoomed out, you would have seen it. Yeah, it would have. It was directly above the end. That was looking awesome. <laughs> um, we have got an arrival just about to come in, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Rescue 533 checking into tower. Uh, there's the car park. Yep. <laughs> Actually, there's a... There's a beacon on there, yeah? I was just checking the A380. Where's the chopper, mate? Uh, I will have a look. Uh, Jetstar 657 uh, coming in from Canberra on 01 right. Ping 
Kong. Gia Yaris. Oh, Another yeah. awesome stream today. Thanks, Manny and James. We appreciate it, Matt. Matt, mate. <laughs> Long day. Mate, that is um, very, very kind of you to um, to drop that in. That's, uh, that is awesome. Uh, another awesome stream today. Thanks, Manny and James. Yeah. Um, been oh, great. Much yeah, it's been it's been great to have your company, mate, and um, I'm very kind of you to do that. Quite like these uh, weather events for these sort of streams. It's just I don't know. I find it exciting. Matt's trying to get some of the sky in in case there's another. I one. know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all happening over there. You see. Okay, so they must be coming from the south there. Yeah, you concentrate on the camera, mate. <laughs> uh, it's coming in directly from that way, and I can see the lights. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's come from the Royal Brisbane Hospital, and it's gone a very, very long route round to the south, I'm oh, guessing. Oh, man. Did that come to oh, You just you again, zoomed in on it when just at the wrong time. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's taken a very long uh, route down to the south. Gallia, who doesn't get distracted by chips, I know. Uh, Eli uh, actually brought some chips up for us uh, on our last stream. Um, yeah, it kept me preoccupied for a little too long. Shout out to Eli if you're watching, mate. Uh, Casey and Tolson, does Matt like chips? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> understatement, absolute understatement. Yeah. Yeah. I really got a yeah, bit of a sweet spot, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne Flyers here. Good evening, guys. Thanks for jumping Ooh. into our live today. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I, I, I was able to jump in for a little bit. I couldn't stay for long, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, great to see. Great to see some uh, some good action down there at Melbourne. Uh, appreciate it, mates. 356 Brisbane Tower. Uh, do you want to catch the arrival, mates? Oh, I suppose. <laughs> All the lights. Uh, Roger, you can the and camera's doing the much one better one than one I expected one. in this current configuration. That uh, Virgin 965 in from Sydney. Also on zero 01 right. Whoa, some wicked lightning activity out there. I've got the chopper coming in there too. Uh, Rescue 533, we caught this departing a bit earlier on and it's now returning uh, from Royal Brisbane Hospital in, in the city, CBD, yeah. just north of the CBD, I should say. Uh, gonna be touching down on the other side of the active runway, uh, Hotel 2. I think the uh, the weather kind of helps the camera a bit too because you get these awesome kind of auras around all the lighting. Oh, the reflections and yeah. the light, yes. Come on, the C4, reflections. 72, runway 0, 1 right, clear for takeoff. Right, take I, I changed some settings on the camera, which has made it much uh, better at night uh, with the uh, the way it does the light metering, which is why which is why the hangar is quite overexposed right now. Uh, Sebastian's here. G'day, mate. See the... Uh... And there is a Virgin uh, 737 700 about to go past here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Off to uh, Perth. I oh, see so everyone's seen the, the flashes, the lightning flashes. I'd love to get a, a, the bolt actual lightning. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this back later, uh, to be honest. Because we, we look at it on a very small screen and it's hard to tell uh, how it looks. <laughs> Lee saying, so new stream, streamer rules, no talking through takeoffs and departures, only wide shots and storms, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that rule's gone out the, out the window, mate.
Craig saying at this rate you're going through to curfew. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Yeah, I mean, it's still not perfect, um, the light, but uh, it's better than it was. It used to kind of take an average of the whole screen, and now it's um, now it's not doing that, so. Wowza. Uh, A380 still hasn't moved yet, which is surprising. Still on white light, too. Yeah, you can see the uh, the white the white lights, the warning lights, still flashing away, um, which of course means uh, means lightning activity within ten nautical miles of the airfield. Joe VD, what camera setup are you guys running? It's uh, this one's a Sony mirrorless for the main camera. I do have, or uh, well, I haven't really been using the Mac Cam today. Which is a Panasonic cam. Quarter. Yeah, which doesn't work at night. <laughs> it no, just doesn't. It just like yeah. Doesn't work at night. Um, all right, what's this arrival? Oh, Welly. Ah, sent it in. Connors three fifty six. Embraer, which will soon be upgraded to a uh, seven three service. Nana Jules, thank you for another fantastic stream today, Manny James. Congratulations on 8K. Well done. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, uh, Nana Jules. Our resident storm chaser. I love finding out new things. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Casey and Tolson, I feel sorry for you, Matt and James. Why is that? <laughs> we love it. The weather. Yeah, this is great. As long as we don't get wet, we're happy, and we're not, yeah. so... Alright, what's this at full length down at Alpha 9? Runway 01 right, clear for takeoff. Just cleared for departure. Uh, the, 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 the Qantas 635 off to Melbourne. You can expect in the event of a missed approach to initially trust the extended centre line and then get further turn once up went. Yeah, the weather, it just makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Qantas 126 still pinging. That's really surprising that the, the yeah. transponder hasn't turned off on that 33300. Oh, speaking of Kev. <laughs> oh, is he still here? He's still here. He says, okay, no, I all great stream. Uh, take care, everyone. No worries, mate. Uh, appreciate you uh, Appreciate you stopping in. Well, not stopping in. You've been here all day, but... Um, I know it's late over there in Wellington now. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, but thank you, mate, and then we'll talk soon. He was probably waiting for the uh, Welly arrival. But see, I reckon that colour looks wicked there. Wind 030 degrees, 7 knots, runway 01 right, clear to land. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> wow, that really lit up, didn't it? Briar here. Is that? I thought that was cargo door or something. It's just a reflection off the roof. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's pushed back, ready to taxi. Uh, there is another aircraft, I think, down at Alpha 7, uh, lined up or lining up. Not quite yet. What's the 786 Brisbane Tower? Velocity uh, 978 switches off to Sydney, uh, just holding short there, now for seven. Kev saying he was, uh, he was talking with Barb, a living legend.
Ah, oh, Spad, Spad GM saying that that could be the thumbnail shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that looked awesome on my little screen. I've got to watch it back. <laughs> um, Carolyn saying she's watched that back twice. Craig reckon Craig reckons we nailed it. <laughs> Great stuff. Casey and Tolson, James and Matt, do you like thunder? Oh, I love a bit of thunder. Love it, love it. Yeah, love a good storm. All right, there is an arrival, I believe, that they're holding short for. Terry again. Uh, good night, Kev. Hopefully, uh, see you on the weekend, the third. Um, been spoiling us a bit today, Tezza. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said good night ages ago, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he can't help himself. Mate, mate, Terry, thank you. He's dropped in another five. At uh, Rex 368 from Sydney. Velocity 9 up 78. Assigned heading right 0 9 up 0. Line up runway 0. No, I, think, uh, I think Terry enjoys himself. I think he enjoys the mic. Uh, I think it's very fitting for you, mate. Oh, no, I think it's great having him uh, on the mic. Looking forward to, yeah, looking forward to uh, having him back out here again. Welcome any time. That cell just off the coast is strengthened uh, even more. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, wow. what, that's the lightning we're, we're getting through now. Yeah, zoom out a bit. Building again, is it? Velocity 978, runway 01 right, clear for takeoff. Now, velocity 978, clear for takeoff. Uh, which way? <laughs> I'm a bit disorientated at times. Uh, I've gone way too far, I think. Uh, this 7-3, uh, heading to Sydney. Out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like being un like, uh, what's the word to well, it's, describe it? It's, it's like actually underlit, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's lit up by the, um, the Brisbane port. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a reflection off the cloud layer. I rate it. And that's where, that's the direction the worst of the storm has gone. Oh, Tazza got two. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, we'll get another ding-dong guy for Martin. Oh, Martin Hooper's <laughs> dropped, in a, yeah. dropped in a tent. I got there eventually, mate. Apologies. Good evening all. Have some coffee. <laughs> we've, uh, we've got our caffeine Coffee. fix. Uh, so does the computer. The computer took half of it. Oh, we're going to need uh, we're gonna need some more of this, right? <laughs> Thank you, yeah, Martin. If this, if this keeps up. Good on you, mate. It's actually uh, probably a bit of jumper weather. This uh, Jetstar 320 just pushing back in front of us here, uh, behind the domestic terminal. Yeah, Beck saying uh, we're coming through Ipswich and we can see lightning and yeah, all we can see is lightning on planes. It's uh, yeah, certainly, uh, certainly something. We've got quite a good vantage point up here too, don't we? Uh, Boise, I like being parked up in the car uh, at, at a coast watching storms, absolutely. Um, and I'm glad we can uh, bring something of the sorts to you today or this evening. Uh, uh, the, the warning lights are still going on the ground. Information uniform south current changes wind 020 degrees 10 knots, visibility 10 kilometres, changes to uniform. Uh, Cliff saying there's another storm cell up near Kilcoy too, heading south. 
Yeah, I'm just looking at the radar now, actually. <laughs> Craig. What do you want about Craig? He's saying, uh, well, first of all, he's saying that's El Afabo. Uh, given that you're going to be there for another couple of hours, just holler if you need to uh, chow and need a chow delivery. <laughs> and Lulu <laughs> and I can make it happen for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's very tempting to start. Another couple of hours. Where's this couple of hours come from, though? He wants to see the big boy depart, doesn't he? <laughs> Which has disappeared. So where is it? It must have pushed back. It was there. Yeah, you could just... Is that the nose there? Yeah, I think it's pushed, hasn't it? Uh, and it's probably about to start moving forwards. Well, that was good timing. Oh, Hayden's saying 780. Fair right, zero, nine, uh, zero. Yeah, 785 now. That is awesome. The original goal for the stream being 600. Uh, looks like we might slap that 800. Very close. Thank you to, uh, to the 785 people that have hit the like button. That is fantastic. That's actually a bit chilly now. I might put that by the... Yeah, 27 degrees is not uh, is not going to be right any longer. No, that feels like a, a sweet 22 to me. I reckon, I reckon 23, but this isn't going to be right. No, that, that's always warmer than what it is. With his adiators here, g'day, mate. Amazing weather system. It's not rained a drop uh, out here in Springfield uh, while all this is going on. You can see the light show in the distance, but there you go. Oh, there you go, 23 degrees and thunderstorms. Oof, a big oof. It's not often that gets that right. All right, there's something lining up at Alpha 7. What have we got, Matt? Tazza, definitely not shy of the mic. Not at all, mate. I think it fits you very well. Matthew, how good name, by the way, mate. Top name. Uh, how good is a summer storm in April? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Qantas Link 1967 rolling. This one's heading to Newcastle, the Embraer 190. All the storms we were meant to get this summer. Oh, Lee's saying 21 subs of 8100. So that's, uh, that's creeping up too. It's pretty cool to see. Appreciate that, mate. 540, wind 040 degrees, 8 knots, runway 01 right, clear to land. Just keep an eye on that 380, mate. Make sure we don't miss that. Oh. Are you joking? Did we miss that? Did, was it already there? And we just went straight past it? <laughs> Maybe it was behind the fuel tank when we were talking about it. No, I think we missed it. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. We've, we've missed it completely. It's already at, it's already at Bay 75. It, here's us over here looking, going, oh, where, where's the A380? And it was oh, already... Maybe it was always there, because that, that, there's already something there that yeah. we thought was the 380. Well, I think we missed it completely, mate. Oh, <laughs> See, we don't, yeah, we don't keep an eye on our peripherals, do we? It's all right. We've only got to wait another two hours for its departure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jack, uh, were you guys filming either March 28th or the 3rd of April? Uh, I don't believe so. What dates were those? Stations information, Victor's now current. Changes, removal of high approach intensity. Lighting and runway lighting. Visibility greater than one zero kilometers. QNH 1010, uh, changes for Victor. So high intensity uh, runway lighting has now been switched off for the time being.
Colin, g'day mates. I just dropped my daughter and her fiance off uh, at the domestic terminal. Uh, and thought of you guys above. Oh, awesome, mate. Well, we were here. Did you give us a honk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on you, mates. Uh, Eric jumping in there. Oh, that was a bit weird. Eric oh, dropping in. Stroke. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> he's dropped in five gifted memberships. Mate, that is fantastic. Uh, good on you. Thank you. Uh, um, so that's gone to uh, window seat, uh, Andrew, Darren, uh, Maxime, and Olaf. All uh, getting uh, in the lounge. Yeah. Of Eric there. Appreciate that, mate. Welcome, guys. And uh, you'll, you'll have access to the uh, emojis in the chat straight away. Uh, you'll, you'll also have access to... Uh, all the channels in the Discord if you choose to join. Oh, Lee's saying it was moving into the gate while you were talking there we before go. accidentally. We, 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 were <laughs> we were completely oblivious to it as it was uh, rolling on over there, uh, which is uh, typical. <laughs> Seki Man, saying, I don't know how we missed um, that. Um, the fuel tank isn't big enough to hide it. <laughs> yeah, I think we were just, um, we had our eyes shut, mate. It was off to the left behind the big fuel tank, uh, oh. Carolyn reckons. Apologies. Then to the gate as you panned away. <laughs> Typical way. Uh, Qantas 126 still pinging. Yeah, I don't really think odd. that's going out. I believe that will go out as... Um, no, it's not going out. That's an arrival. No, but it goes back out later as Qantas 15, no? Uh, Auckland will be 119. No, 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 that aircraft will go out as Qantas oh, 15 later, later on. Yeah. I'm not sure what it goes out tonight, is it? Uh, 15, that will be LAX. LAX, yeah. Yeah. LAX is about 10.30-ish, something like that. Actually, isn't it? It'll go, it'll go at 16, won't it? Qantas 16 comes in as Qantas 15. Is right I thought it was the other way around. With a further right hand turn to 120, approximately one minute after the coming airborne, will that be suitable? That be Going dollar. Aim with lights. There you go. Oh, have we hit that? We have. That's fantastic. Appreciate that, everyone. No more goals, I think. That's, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm just looking at the radar again, and uh, there's there's another little cell building uh, just to the north, which I think is going to affect the departures. I might just grab, uh, grab a water and a jumper. Thanks again, Eric. Much appreciated, mates. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see it with the naked eye, but there's the uh, Air Force Centenary Special Liveried Alliance in Brea. The camera can see it, but I can't. Jetstar 575, clear for takeoff, 01 rights. There it is. Uh, Jetstar 320 off to Melbourne.
Rain jackets on down there. <laughs> Thank you everyone for the 800 likes. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, very much appreciated because it, it does help us a lot. You can hear the engine start going on here, I think. Mm -hmm. On this one, a 73. I don't know why, but I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's a bit like that. It's quite it's nice, right, at the moment. Uh, Beck saying, hey, Matty and James, stay... Wow, that was a big one. Yep. Uh, stay streaming for at least another hour, and we'll bring up a surprise. I don't <laughs> know if we'll be here for another hour. No, we won't. We won't um, be here another hour, unfortunately. <laughs> but I think we, I think we uh, do need to do a night stream very soon. Yeah. Bit of a members on the screen, maybe. You could almost call it an OnlyFans stream, couldn't you? Uh, Rollercoaster so Harry Muddy, are you working tomorrow? I don't think so. <laughs> I shouldn't be. That's a good question. Uh, Ian Clark, Kale in Melbourne, oddly enough, three days for work. Virgin luggage collect down to two carousels. Thanks, Melbourne Airport. Oh, that's no good. First time watch and subscribe from Melbourne. Great visuals, guys, especially in low light. And you're using a gimbal for your camera or moving it by hand. It's, uh, yeah, it's remotely controlled, uh, the main camera. Yeah, so like using it, we're using a joystick uh, controlling the gimbal. Um, so, yeah, by, by hand. Uh, wow. Main reason being the camera's uh, about a metre above our heads uh, to get over some obstacles here at Brisbane. Rex 258 coming in from Melbourne here on 01 rights. Oh, insane. They said an hour ago they were leaving. <laughs> uh, we can't help it. Oh, you um, thing has taken off. Yeah, I haven't seen the setup. Uh, I don't think I, uh, no, most people don't really s expect to see uh, <laughs> exactly what we've got going on up here. Um, in fact, I think some find it quite intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a bit of fun. Seen, but, um, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen some stunned looks up here before. It's, uh, yeah. There's a lot going on. 
Oh, yeah, better where'd plug that in, mate. Put, uh, um, that one there, you want to plug that into there, and then we're good. <laughs> Stop this turning off so the camera just doesn't take a nosedive. Uh, Virgin, uh, 11.06 is lined up. Uh, Carolyn reckons 179 new subscribers today. Has it been that many? That's <laughs> crazy. Wow. Paul, good on you, mates. Good to see you. Uh, Terry saying uh, we love you. That's why you're still live. <laughs> it, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Uh, Brian DeBert golf's back. Uh, boys, I'm back. Uh, props to, to you for still going. Uh, long session, pun intended, by the way. We were actually just talking about you, mate, about the mozzies up here. <laughs> I prefer my puns intended. Groovy man uh, is off. Awesome stream through the wet afternoon, extending to a night stream. Uh, thanks to all, including James and Maddie and Mods. Uh, special shout out to Barb, absolutely. Super awesome support. Hope to see OPA midweek. Sounds like a plan, Groovy Man. We appreciate it. Uh, happy Sunday and uh, yeah, good night, mate. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, I believe Virgin 1106 was just cleared for takeoff. Just rolling now. Uh, roller coaster Harry, yeah, I'll be, I'll be on nights next week, so hopefully no early mornings for me. Mob 27, g'day mates. Had a quick look at the set, uh, the main setup on Friday. Lots more going on than I expected. Yeah, there is a, <laughs> there is a bit going on here, uh, and then there's, uh, there's quite a bit of tech which you can't see uh, built into uh, to the desk that we've got here as well, just to sort of make it all work. Safe to say, uh, there's a lot of links in the chain. Here. How about that cabin lighting? That is incredible. You see it for quite a distance, don't you? Yeah. You just don't see that. Um, you don't see that with the naked eye. Uh, I just wanted to catch the uh, Dash 8, which is doing a, one up and three, uh, a 180 here. Just arrived. Uh, and look, I just want to say another big, a big, or give another big shout out to the mods uh, for doing a, an incredible uh, job for us again today. Uh, you guys are the best, and we, we really, really appreciate uh, everything you do for us. Yeah, absolutely. Just on 934, I'm Been with us for uh, for a long time too. Makes it easy to press the live button, that's for sure. Hey, man, he would be Maccas on the way home. <laughs> I'm a bit Maccas out at the moment, if that is the same. Uh, it's, I'm starting to think KFC. This KFC talk earlier is... Uh, yeah, it might be, might be a bit of KFAT on the way home. I don't know about you, James. What do you reckon? Um, yeah, look... <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. I'm not a Maccas person myself. Well, I am, but I try and avoid it, see? I'm talking KFAT. That's even worse. Oh, is it? Depends how you look at it. Can you hear those props? I can. There's another one coming in. Is that what we can hear? Yeah. It is noisy from that distance.
Qantas 5.45 rolling off to Sydney. We'll hear you over that 7 3, mate. <laughs> My bad. I better do it again then. Another one for Aiden. Another big gun. Hayden, he's gone and dropped in another five. <laughs> mate, that is very kind. Uh, so Hayden's saying, Matt and, Matt and Sorry, James. We can even <laughs> oh, 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 you were just ignoring it, mate. Um, <laughs> Not ignoring, I just zoned out. Um, well, that, I'll leave it to you. There you go. I'm tired, mate. Uh, Matty James, Brian Spencer is paying for the overtime. Uh, to which Brian is saying, lol, Hayden, they got sorted from Barbara, I'm sure. But absolutely, Barbara's, uh, <laughs> look, to be no, fair, yeah. a lot of people have been spoiling us today a little bit. Uh, yes, uh, and look, we have to, we do have to say, we, 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 we greatly appreciate everyone's incredible support, um, as always. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a fantastic afternoon. We've had a lot of fun, and that storm was, was a lot of fun too, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah. Watching the build up and, and watching it roll through. Uh, great fun. I think, um, yeah, I think I think we are going to be closing this off soon. Um, this has turned into a little bit of a cheeky night stream. I, I'm, I, you know, the reason why I think we're still here is because I'm looking at this picture thinking, wow, it's, it looks so good. Yeah, it does, yeah. Now imagine with the night set up. No, good on you, Hayden. Thank you for dropping in another five, mates. And look, thank you for... Uh, Thank you for everything you do as a mod as well, mate. Brian's saying maybe Patrick as well. Of course, uh, uh, and, we, and we, can't. we just missed Patrick on the way out. And I, too. I, I have to. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to message Patrick afterwards because I feel uh, a little bit bad that we didn't. Um, we weren't able to mention it while he was here. Um, it was literally right as he left, which I is know. a real shame. Um, so. <laughs> Still see the lightning about. Oh, we're talking about the uh, chat on Sid Squad. Wow, of course, Ashley in the chat there is uh, is a moderator for, for Sid Squad, and uh, yeah, I have to agree with you there. The chat moves very fast. I can't really keep up with it half the time. Um, we've got a pretty tight net community, although our chat seems to be getting that way sometimes. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> it takes us a long time of a, of a start of stream. Uh, at, the start, at the start, definitely, yes, yes. Yeah, definitely in another league, though. <laughs> ah, Tezza doing it again. Uh, got no. to eat my. Roast pork dinner. This See you next week, boys. Someone's giving uh, a good honk there. Uh, just rubbing it in at the end mate, up there, mate. I love it. <laughs> Look, I think this is the third time you've tried to get away from us. Uh, <laughs> oh, a, a legend, though, mate. That's uh, fantastic. We appreciate it. Fantastic, mate. Um, enjoy, enjoy your roast dinner, <laughs> and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably see you in the Discord later. But thank you, thank you for dropping in another five as well, Terry. Uh, cow, so you mean we can't uh, go till 380? Uh, no, mate, not tonight. I know it's uh, what two hours, two odd hours away, but um, it's just a, it's just such an annoying time, isn't it? 9 p.m. It's it's it'd be great if it was about seven because we could extend an afternoon show out and uh, if we thought we'd be fine. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, look, if you, if you start. Uh, Late afternoon for a night stream, yeah, it's it's all the same. But um, I think when you've when you've been here, well, I've been here since 
obviously uh, early this morning um, for work already, so I've had a big day. I probably do need to get home to Cal. <laughs> Help out. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jan Star 572 coming in here. The uh, 321 from Melbourne. Tezza. Can never pull myself away from the stream, hey? No, mate. It's a good problem to have. Uh, Jack, thoughts on doing a collab with Sid Squad? Uh, I mean, by all means, mate. Um, I think it's a bit more complicated than that, isn't it? It's <laughs> a bit Definitely. of distance involved. Uh, but I think uh, uh, I think we'll be meeting them down on our Sydney trip when we go with uh, Kev. We've got Kev from Wellington Flights live. Well, it's Kev's trip. Uh, we're just we're just yeah, we're just joining Kev's them. trips. We're just we're joining in, and so is uh, so is Pete and Mitch from uh, Pompous and Mark. Um, so maybe not a collab, so to speak, but you know, quite an interesting uh, event down there. Yeah, coming up soon. I need James feel like I'm McFlurry. I don't think I could. I'm all McFlurried out this week, I think. <laughs> Oscar Wise, good day, mate. Have I you been eating McFlurry? Right yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I can't help myself. It's 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 the choc ice cream, mate, that does it. What is that noise? I don't know. It sounds like a hyena. A hyena? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm, I'm just sounding it out for you, mate. <laughs> All right, uh, we, we need to we need to pick an aircraft. I think is our last tonight. Oh, and we need Kel back on a stream one day. Yeah, I think we do. Long overdue, I reckon. A few people have asked that. I think we'll do it. Uh, Lisa and Solomon's on final. I think that's our plane. What do you reckon? Uh, well, is it zero one right or left? Oh, good good, good call actually. Zero three four forty five for side heading right. Zero nine zero runway zero one right. Please to take off. Well, there you go. Yeah. Zero on right. Zero I reckon right. this will be us. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right. We'll follow it in a little bit. So, um, so the Solomon's three twenty coming in on zero one right. That will be our last, and then we'll we'll finish up today, I think. But yeah, it has inspired us to do maybe push for a little night stream through the week. A little, uh, little members only live stream to uh, give back to to uh, all our new members and our existing ones, of course. I'll tell you what, we don't often see the 321, uh, the Jetstar 321s. Uh, it's generally 320s. We see the 321 Neos quite often, but not the older ones. Craig Murray saying that sounds like an awesome few days in Sid. Yeah, it will be. It will be probably a bit of mischief, I imagine. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? I think Especially when you've got Brian there. Break. Brian Spence in there. I think there's a departure before the Solomon. Oh, yeah. That's no, close. All right, it looks close on radar. It probably really isn't. Uh, aviation dude, sup. Sup to you as well, mate. Welcome. Now, this comes up as uh, this Embraer comes up as Air North. Van 20 wind, three, okay. four, zero degrees, Steel I'm pretty sure it's Alliance though, and it's on like a lease. Yeah. Yeah, we spoke about this last time. All right, Solomon operating uh, air van, I think, today, isn't it? Yes. Air van 20. From uh, Port Villa. Coming in here on 01 right, and then that'll be us today. We'll be all done. I think it's starting to rain again. <laughs> yeah, still got the white light out, but... Um, yeah, I think, I think most of the weather events have... Uh, I mean, there's still quite a bit of lightning activity out there, but it's, it's far out. It's disbanded. Break 57.45, wind 320 degrees, 7 knots, runway 01, mate, land. Uh, Delta 
speaking of the devil, Brian's there indeed, mate. Sydney Extravaganza streaming event is getting crazier by the day. It is big meet and greet uh, with heaps of streaming and planes play. Uh, aviation, dude, we've been going for uh, course, the shy of five hours and 50 minutes, so, you know, decent, decent stream. It actually doesn't sound that long, really, when you consider we started. No, we've been uh, we have, afternoon. We've done much longer in the past. Um, all right, I think that's us, mate. <laughs> we got to pack up and get out of here now. Uh, it'll probably take us 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to pack down and uh, and get off, get off home. No worries, Shazza. We'll see you in the next one. Pro Switch Gaming is here. It's uh, it's going to be a hello and goodbye from us, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> bye and bye. Uh, Ashley, terrific stream today, uh, along with the great Grind community. Appreciate that. Uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, Tezza, who, by the way, is meant to be gone by now, mate. <laughs> We're going to do it for you. We're helping you out. Gwangola as well, Ian Clark, uh, Jack, thanks mate. Thank you everyone for your uh, for your company this afternoon. It's been uh, it's been a fantastic afternoon. It's been uh, it's been really fun uh, with that with that <laughs> little storm cell rolling through, hasn't it? What happened to our necks? Oh, the <laughs> cameras just look like little thumbs. Cameras dropped down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, big thank you to everyone. Big thank you to Brisbane Airport for having us here this afternoon in this uh, fantastic location. Absolutely. Uh, what an awesome vantage point. Uh, and, and, of course, another big thank you to the mods. And, look, thank you to, uh, to all the, all the uh, well, everyone that's kept us company yeah, this new afternoon. New members, new subs. New members, new subs, yeah. 33 of people. Uh, who like the stream? That's mega. All the people a, that have dropped in um, uh, super chats and uh, and gifted memberships as well. That is just outstanding. Thank you guys. Cue that little music. Matt's got his music going. <laughs> uh, honestly, thank you everyone. And we can't wait to uh, get back again soon. Not sure when that will be, but sometime in the mid in the mid in the during the week. We'll see. PJ's here. Pete's here. Good timing, mate. You're here for James's dancing. Stop it. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought I'd try it. Get a flavoured beverage and do a mini or do it. No, big thanks, everyone. Craig, Jenny, uh, Hayden, of course, Paul, uh, everyone in the chat there. Jenny Felton. Uh, cheers, boys. Great stream. Thank you. Awesome weather. A wicked stream, I think. That's why we've stayed so long. But yeah, get your, uh, get your notifications on. We'll try and get something together through the week. See how we go. Definitely. Thank you, guys, and uh, take care. Big thanks, everyone. See we'll, you later. Uh, we'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.